time we've tried this all because of Facebook. We're live again. Uh, the last time we couldn't get the Facebook people in here. So we rebooted it. We're doing everything again. Um, we're going to wait till we actually see a guest before we get too excited about right. doing a show here tonight. Cause we might just be recording this damn thing for ourselves. Uh, oh no, here they come. Yeah, there we go. Hey King, so, sorry about sending you that. I was trying to send somebody else the range photos and yeah. you just happened to be there. So that's all right. That's all right. The, all right. Uh, so what so, have I missed? What has happened so far? Well, we've had to redo the show. Uh, okay. Facebook right, is now this. working. Yay! All right. We got El Buddha, who there for quite go. some time was the only Periscope viewer we had. And three or four more came in behind him. And then we noticed there wasn't anybody from Facebook who is normally always here. Yeah. Stephen Fury's in the house. Okay. Uh, here they come. Here they Gene come. House is in the house. Gene's been bitching me big time because we're charging for uh, the Patreon show. He didn't think we were going to do any more free shows. So he was, uh, he's been up my ass pretty bad the last two days. So well, that's a bad place to be. Well, you me. don't want to be up my ass because you might not never be seen again. Yeah, you could Boy, be, yeah. your face could be on a milk carton. Hello, Tina McDonald. How you doing? And uh, Chris Schmitz. There we go. Now, now the gang. Is oh, up. Chris is here. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's there. The, the, the smug is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Chris. Florence Mark. Elizabeth is here. I, I, I have, uh, um, I got nothing. I'm just just getting ready to go home and order pizza. Well, I did okay. tell you to shut up. Um, I got something to say. Yeah, I know you do. Uh-oh. Uh, I was told that there was a surprise for me. Yeah, so well, well, it's coming a little later. It's coming a little later. Okay, We're so y'all didn't forget. Home. We have not. No, just, just stick with no. the foreplay right now. Yeah, right? Just stick with the foreplay. Foreplay. Uh, Speaking of foreplay, I do have a second thing I want to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You two idiots right here. Uh, oh. Yeah, hello. hello. Um... I have a question for both of you. Have you both not been telling people on Facebook that they have to wear their masks? You yeah. have, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I have too. I have yeah. too. Um, and what? I have found out we've, we've been telling people on Facebook that they have to wear their masks. We've been very yeah. adamant about it, right? Yeah. We have been yeah. very adamant about it. Yes. I probably started being adamant because of these two fucks right here. Okay. And- You're my mother. Yeah. <laughs> and she means that as a compliment. Believe me. Oh, absolutely, I know. Absolutely. Oh, I know. We, we, are, we are on the same page here. We are so, on the same um, page, absolutely. I have, um, I have been called a mask debater today. No. Oh. I did not realize that was the term for the three of us, but I just wanted to put it out there that I think the three of us are very proud of being Facebook mask debaters. We are master mask debaters. We are master we mas- we master debaters. Master yeah. debaters. Master, we are, we are master mask debaters. That's right. Master mask debaters. Okay, you developed a new word. We don't finish. Some, we don't stop. We will not stop until it's all fixed and done. And Good. Not, I agree. Not, don't. And, and See, so, and that's that's what I respect about your generation right now because you represent them, Maya, and get on them. Get on your gen. I'm telling yeah. you, get on your generation. <laughs> make them do the right thing. And I probably, I wouldn't have been as adamant about it if it wasn't for these two idiots right here. Because I saw uh, them and they wouldn't take no for an answer. And they were direct about it. They stood with it. And yeah. I was like, God damn, I really got to get my shit together. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, uh, we don't take shit from people on Facebook or yeah. any social media for that matter. And sometimes, Maya, uh, we are masked master debaters. Oh, oh, yeah. Sometimes as we well. are. Sometimes we are. We got to mix it up a little bit. That's yeah. right. So if you want to take on a mass debater, we are right here. There's three yeah. mass debaters right, right here. Yeah. All right, Ron, put out yeah. that joint. Put out the joint. We're on TV live. Yeah. Put out I, the joint. I told I you when we went on with the bogus with the false start. We yeah, don't... it was a false start. He thought it was a false start. We he, did. A, yeah. He we didn't did finish a, his blunt. Yeah, we did a false start. See, look, now he eeks after him. He, he's going right. to put him in line. He's going to put him in line. Being as they're only going to be alive a little bit longer, can you show us the, the sacrificial minnows that you bought today? That that oh, one of the, the can of wood, they're on the other yeah. side. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, right, uh, I'll show it during the show. I got to get up. Yeah, at, at, at some point during the show, uh, R- yeah. Rico made a special trip. What, what color is your shirt, Rico? It's purple. Is that purple? It looks, uh, mine looks purple. I don't know what you. I Yours think, looks well, purple, Kenny. This is the this is the most purple I could get, bro. So, right. yeah, I think Shark we're all colors. doing different shades of purple. Uh, and, they have different shades of purple. I'll yeah, tell you what, purple. when we I got went the bowl, we got the Bowen purple back there to the right. That's right. Me to get through this, I went to go start my car in the garage. The battery is dead, so it put me behind the eight ball 
for at least two hours. So not a, I still haven't changed the battery. I went and bought a new battery. Yeah. And yeah. Sitting in the, so I had to go find a purple shirt. This is the best purple I could find. Well, that, that, that's close. Cool. Cool. break out my. Uh, tried. That's more than I can say about the two behind me. They're, they're over here bitching about masks. Uh, no one social hey, no. distancing in the bowling house tonight. I had a, I had a big crowd over here last night. What a crowd. What a crowd, you know? What a crowd. Yeah, uh, am I right now? But what last night I was in rough shape, you know? And that's, that's true. <laughs> um, what's that? We missed the memo. Probably. You missed the memo. Well, you did. Well, we, we missed a lot of shit today. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about my charitable donations. Two, okay, of the, okay. two of the three of them are sitting right here right now. I, I, I thought you might bring the third charitable donor down here tonight, Maya. Where, where's the third donor tonight? Uh, the third donor is upstairs paying rent right now. Yeah. Ah. He's paying rent to me by uh, taking care of my cats, <laughs> washing thought, the cats. I thought, she gave she, the cat I, a bath I, thought, I thought she was paying rent to you and taking care of Chris. Did you have the hook? No, even she can't do that. <laughs> well, there you, well, That's a job only you say uh, for the masturbator. Only for Rico. Right. There you go. The, uh, <laughs> a shout, uh, out, a shout out real quick to our first ever Periscope viewers, uh, or at least to watch us on Periscope. Maybe some of them have uh, joined us before on Facebook and or YouTube. But uh, we just, I just figured out yesterday or two days ago how to go live on Periscope. And that that's a Twitter only thing, I think. I think that's the only way the Twitter viewers can watch us. So uh, KC of KC and the Sunshine Band almost exclusively uses Periscope. So Harry Wayne Casey down in Hialeah, Florida, if you're watching tonight and if you would like to join us, send me a, uh, a message on Twitter or Facebook, something, wherever you can get a hold of me. And you're welcome to come in here tonight because we are expecting a huge guest in here tonight. I wrote okay, good. I wrote him. Uh, he's invited. I haven't sent him the link because he has to follow me to get the link. And I don't think he's followed me yet. But ladies and gentlemen, all of those of you on Twitter tonight realize that I have invited none other. And I was nice to him too, Billy Zane. Billy Zane to oh be on the show tonight. God. He's invited. What? He, he, if he, he invited. shows up, he I, 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 he's going to show up one day. I get. I already know. Yeah, but there's going to be a day. There's yeah. going to be a day. Uh, well, thank you, Wendy. Uh, I, I haven't seen you in in a while, so you must not love them too much. So, see, now I'm already giving the Facebook people shit that tell me they love the show, and I haven't seen Wendy in in a, in a dog's age. Uh, I can, on, say, can I say hi? I can't say your last name, David, but thank you. Uh, King was nice enough to promote my fan page. Thank you, King. I mean, yeah, we, we jacked the views, uh, uh, the the likes up a little bit, uh, I a, think. Li a lot of bit, a lot of it. Okay, a well, lot of it. I I'll mean, and now I'm well, which you I, which you I just, wouldn't do. Yeah, now I'm answering them on on Facebook. There trying, you go. I'm trying to get it done. I'm well, trying. To I, I, re I represented you. I said, go ahead and ask him a question. He loves yeah. that. <laughs> so I kind of and they were doing it, and you know, yeah. it, it brought a lot of joy to my heart. It really did. I just. You know, to talk to everybody. You know, you know what brings joy to my heart? Yeah, money. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was that was my outside well, voice. Okay, all right. Money. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and and ten Asian girls. Ten Asian girls. I feel because there's many days uh, that eight of, there's many days eight of the ten are mad at me. So that way, as long as uh, I know why Mormons do their thing now. You know, they marry <laughs> seven, eight women, and at least maybe one or two of them be in a good mood on a particular day. Yeah. And then again, if they all want to go shopping on the same day, that's where the money comes in handy. That's where the money goes out, not you comes need, in. The money goes out. You need you need the money. Yeah. Uh, Asian. Hey Dermot. Hey Dermot. What's up? And they do bring joy to my heart. There's no doubt about that. That's it. The, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm the still, you never know. I'm Some still working on the fish flops. On this show. I'm still working on the fish flops. The fish flop. Yeah. The, we're not. Do gonna we have make, a prototype yet? We're not going to make any. We're, rip we're still. Make, we're still. We're still going into the beginning phases. I mean, we, we've you, had a lot of failures. You do uh, realize John Cena's name when Rico brought him in was prototype. Yeah. We never knew him as John Cena. He was always no, prototype. The prototype. He, he, he later. Yeah. Hey, Big Daddy Go. And uh, oh, my uh, gosh. You've got some people in here who don't know who Billy Zane is. Oh, bad, bad. Yeah. Bad. Bad. Oh. How, how, long, how, long it, how long will it take you to block everybody that doesn't know who Billy Zane is? Guys, oh. No. no. Buddha. 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 That's terrible. El Buddha. Gen Z or if I had to guess. We had two Gen Zers in the house yesterday. They were 20. 
They did we, Hillbilly Zane. No, they one did not. One of them not. had never seen it's Titanic. A oh it's my a Gen god! Z thing. It's a Gen Z thing. When the, your brain the one is full with scene. SpongeBob, you don't have room for anything else. I guess. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. No, no, uh, hey, Carlo, how you doing? That's amazing. That's He's amazing. Billy Zane is a wonderful man. I've met him. I know Rico. Met, you know, okay, wait a minute. I did. I did. I, I call you yeah. out the other day on it. You did. You did. <laughs> I did, but I apologized. So because you backed yourself up. JJ Arwood, this is JJ Arwood's first time ever on the show, executive producer, uh, a master debater, uh, yep. ma uh, oh, a ma master tech, and he a mask debate, a mask debate, a mask master, master debater, and uh, he a this, master master debater. This is his first time live on the, the title, show. Right? We We're did, proud of it. We did some fucked up test show here once before. It was in oh. March. We did like 30 <laughs> minutes. Or is that what we did? Yeah. And uh, but, but but things have improved a little bit. He he was trying to set me up on another format to do these shows. And but Johnny Fairplay taught me about StreamYard, and it, it really worked out pretty good. And, Kenny, uh, would you pass me the mouse? Is that an option? You're right scared now? of you're scared of mice. I am. I'll overcome my fear today. Mm. You're not gonna you're not gonna come on any mice in my house. I'll tell you that right now. We're not gonna allow that. That'll get rid of the. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I think. What's Titanic? Read the comments right. I know. Well, is, is, is this I, a G I, show? I read the comments. I put them on the screen so you can read. That's it. why oh, you guys can see them. Right you want to you know what the Titanic is? All right, you're gonna have to go to a separate website and see that yeah. photo. Go, I, I got this, Rico. If you okay. want to see what the Titanic is, go to KennyBolin.com. <laughs> I will no. challenge anybody to no. go to KennyBolin.com no, right I now. I dare any of you to <laughs> phones right now and go to KennyBolin.com. Are you going to have an OnlyFans page soon? Uh, oh, you might already have I one. might already <laughs> have KennyBolin.com. Okay, everybody back off their mics a touch because I'm getting a little uh, little, little strength. In that. El Buda, Titanic is both a movie and the actual boat. Yeah, it's a boat. All right. So, so I, I'll well, they explain they kind of get the ending away at the beginning of the movie, but it's a good movie anyway, and most people stay to the end just because oh, well, wow, once you think you've seen the end it ain't the end so you gotta so jj now, I, can you I tell i tell my girlfriend the same thing once you think you've seen the end you ain't seen the end you ain't seen the end no and uh and there there's mice on the titanic there's dogs there's rats there's children oh i know the name of that movie yeah, okay, so I was just wondering, so the question is, what was that terrible movie with Zane? It was a super cheesy horror movie. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Oh, he was ah. in that? Yeah. Oh, I never saw uh, that one. Yeah, he was. Un unfortunately, some people have to go through the B-rated movies and get picked up to go to Hollywood. It's, it's just like OVW to WWE. Maya and I are in the process of watching a couple of fantastic movies with an unbelievable budget and, and actors that... Uh, uh, I think you're learning on the fly uh, and not yeah. well. Uh, one, one of the two. Oh well, well, there's. I think there's three of them I, I threw up because we've noticed now on my fire stick, there used to be all these blockbuster movies and like like uh, 1917 was out there for a while and just all these great movies. You just Parasite, go down your fire stick. All sorts of classics. All Parasite, these, yeah. You, you could just pick one and it just, just you, there'd be 30 great movies every month you could pick from. So I'm going down the list. <laughs> me, 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 <laughs> Dustin, way to go, Dustin! By the way, became a Patreon wow. member. We might have. A oh my God! Wow! God. Yeah, we'll Good it. catch, Maya. Good oh. catch. Uh, we, found, we found this on the ball. We found this on the ball. Someone asked me if I had a, a KennyBowen.com. I said, "Yeah, I had one, but I was selling more merchandise off uh, Facebook and Twitter." Uh, and personal appearances than I was on KennyBullen.com. I said, shit, I ain't paying for that no more. So I quit paying for it. Uh, I didn't know that somebody was actually going to set up an Asian Ford. I said, hey, I, I'm on. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm <laughs> already there. <laughs> I now know where nine of my last 10 girlfriends went. I found them. Yeah. All. Yeah. They seem to be working and doing well. Yeah. Uh, Chris created, created some Chris, income for them. Highlight Chris Schmidt's uh, comment, sis. This how, one? how you doing, Hulk? Yeah, and he was. He was the he was the the wimp. Oh, oh, I did sniper. Right. Yeah, oh, I remember oh, in that movie with oh, with, with Berenger. Tom yeah. Berenger. Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger. Underrated actor. This he doesn't yeah. watch instead of what yeah. we're watching right now on your life. Uh, we're right, right now. Uh, there's, there's three movies we're watching. One of them I can't think of the title of. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was which one? The cow. First cow. First cow. We're watching. So I sent my a highlight shot of, of what I'm watching, and, and the the title comes up. 
first cow. Is, is like well, two cow or? lives here, so they can't. I, they, I haven't they, even watched this movie yet. I cannot. Wait, wait, wait. It. Okay, now you got me confused. Is it two yeah. cow or? It's chew, the first cow. Two cow. Not chew cow. No. Oh, okay. I got to know what the, <laughs> where the chew peanut butter comes chew, in. Chew okay, cow. Let me know where the peanut butter comes in. Chew cow is on the Asian porn site. Okay. That's where He's you'll find also chew on Patreon. If you guys want to know what chew cow is all about. <laughs> yeah, really? Oh. And what and he wants to do to Billy Zane, you need to go on Patreon. That's on Patreon. That's right. That's, that's on Patreon. That's, that's exclusive. And it's, it's that way chunky. Here. Not smooth. Chunky. The chunky. Yeah. Well, the chunky jar, the chunky jar is in there. I mean, we can bring it out if it's necessary to make everybody <laughs> do the right thing tonight. Uh, hey, uh, Eric. What's going on, Eric? So, so, well, well, Glad you can stop Eric. by. Fuck Eric. Fuck Eric McGovern. Okay, wait. Here's Fucking somebody who guy. needs to get fucked. Y'all answer let... the question, please. What is Rico's... <laughs> Oh, can Read I answer this? Read can I answer this? I, I just saw somebody it. Somebody answer it. Uh, somebody answer it. Rico's claim to fame is he was on American Gladiators. I think... Uh... <laughs> uh, real David Rush. I tell you what, you just go to Wikipedia, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Rico, Rico, Rico has taken daddy's uh, language. Uh, yeah. I need a Wikipedia. This one I had to, uh, yeah. because of, and I'm not saying I'm any special. Yeah. You know, I'm a has been. Well, I'm, I've done man. everything I've done, but at least I'm not a never was. That's right, real yeah. David. Because you sound like a never was. Oh my God. There you I go. mean, Sorry, yeah, MF. Was that a periscoper that asked that or a Facebooker? It was a periscope. A periscope. Well, I mean, to his defense, we have not been on Periscope, but I think I think there's a lot of people on Twitter that know who Rico. And may Constantino I just say are. that yeah. this may be a person outside of the U.S. Lord knows I be. didn't know Rico before I came here. I still haven't you, seen an episode of American Gladiator. Never going heard to. about it We're going until to. Rico. We're going to. So though I know your long, long, long resume. Right. And okay. I'm Let me retract a little bit. I'm okay. So glad in I'm case, in case what you said is true, real David Rush, if you are anything that Maya said, you're not from the country. You're from you don't know. Well, and, and I'm going to give you a pass. Let's go back to this because he wasn't disrespectful about it. And then there's people out there who don't know who I am and that, what what your claim to fame. What have you done? And I said I ain't done shit. You know that's how I got famous, not yeah. doing shit. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. I did not read the whole comment until I put Maya. it up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I only read the first, the beginning of the sentence. Yeah. He won the 1991 American Gladiator Championship. I'm like, here's some information, <laughs> and then it ends with, "And real David, your mother is a hoe." <laughs> now, but now, I do we apologize, have to, do we have, real David. Do, do we have I did to not be, read that. Are you going to get this on Cornet Show? Does the, do they call anyone's mother a hoe other than mine? <laughs> Oh my God! Live to where I you am get to do it right sorry. here in the room. And, okay, uh, I I'm gonna have to apologize to real David Rush. You real David Rush. Wendy, I gave apologize. You, Wendy gave you some support. Well, you don't have to apologize. Calling you didn't call his mother a hoe. Eric Montgomery no, did. No, 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 I, I uh, accidentally. Uh, I'm so sorry. Of course, I didn't Maya. Make the whole thing. Of course, Maya put it up on a billboard out on Cherokee Road. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wendy so loved the American. Now, Wendy's one of my dear friends. Wendy is from Ohio. I hadn't seen her in here in a while. I thought she's mad at me or. Maybe she was out recruiting Asian girls for me. I didn't know. But, oh my God! Here, here's Wendy, and she's in here, and she loves. Thank the you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. She loves Rico Is was a stunt true? man in Triple X movies. Is that true? I don't know what. Hey, I, mean, I think Chris Smith is making. Hey, only Triple X was my moonshine. I was drinking. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. No moonshine but, here. This is Coke Zero. I promise. Yeah, but I, I, I've never been in a Triple X movie yet because, I mean, I only got a two incher. I'm telling you, that's it. But it's two inches from the floor. But what, there what, what, wasn't, wasn't there a toy? Wasn't there a kid's ride named after you back in the day called Inchworm? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> does, anybody remember does anybody remember Inchworm? No. Inchworm, <laughs> inchworm, 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 I love you. <laughs> it, was, it was a little toy for kids, and it was called Inchworm. Un unfortunately, called I remember it. That's how old I am. I guarantee it's on wow. YouTube. Somebody look up Inchworm, and, and Rico still makes money off that today. <laughs> Sure is. That's his. That's Rico's claim to fame. He yeah. He, he was the model for inchworm. Yeah, that was it. There you go. So don't uh, don't oversell yourself. You said two inches. It was just one. No, I gotta brag. I mean, what <laughs> what, what happens when you go fishing? You I caught a fish inchworm. this big or this big. Uh, that that's the one you caught right there. Yeah, that's the one I caught. That's the one that got away. It was that's this funny. big. 
We have a so, question on the screen. Ooh, well, um, Wendy, I expect you to be making a twenty dollars donation to the Patreon account. <laughs> it is your <laughs> to support me. And uh, and please, God, stay off my Asian porn site. I don't need yeah. to see you there. You got to be wow. a good girl for me. Be if you want to donate, please do not donate to KennyBolin.com. I say no. It, no do no, not donate do not, to KennyBolin.com. No. You can donate to Kenny Bolin at MSN.com. We accept donations. Yeah. But please don't, don't do donate to the other one. Those girls are making enough money from what I could tell last night. <laughs> A couple of them look like they're going broke, to be honest with you. So, oh, oh, Rico, wow. we got a question for you on the yeah. board. I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, the stereotype, but even I have to say, I would like the answer to this question. Yeah. Okay, go. I listened to Bruce Pritchard, so I got to ask Rico, how big is Batista's ego? I don't think he's asking about his ego. How big All is right, uh, Well, if You've been in a locker room. You've showered with other men. Yeah. Actually... I'm a mid card guy, so I showered before everybody, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I am. I can't say. Well, if it's his ego, Dave never had a, an ego with me. He was always humble to me, and we got along always. <laughs> uh, as far as everything else, I take the fifth. And as far as Bruce Pritchard, everybody does. King and I, Dad and I know. We called Bruce out for something he said that he did and told him to come on live and, mm -hmm. and debate it. And I will be here. here. Ain't well, showed up yet. And then well, he's welcome. I mean, there's some of you guys out there, as Maya says, you marks. Uh, I don't say that. All right, I do. But uh, <laughs> for anybody that listens that to Bruce Pritchard's show and is entertained by it, oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Hey, it takes all types. Yeah, uh, but anybody who goes I'm on not here to criticize. Media. All right, so I am. Yeah. It's anybody that goes on public and yeah, tells really anybody that they slap me dead in my face and I did nothing. I mean, Kenny, you know me. So does your son. I know Maya doesn't know me. But I, remember, I, remember know I, me. I remember I slapped you and told you to shut up one night at the dinner table. I, I, and then you must have slapped me pretty hard because I forgot. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I slapped you into the middle of next week, but it was the middle of the four of the forward. Yeah, week. but I, nobody I, has ever put their hands on me you, that I never you, wanted them to. You, you be, ever. You've, been, you've been eight days ahead of me ever since. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Bruce uh, claimed that he slapped Rico to motivate him to do the promo before the uh, Billy and Chuck wedding. Oh, so wow. when I heard this, I contacted Rico, and he says, "Well, let me tell you why that didn't happen, King." He says, "Is Bruce Richard still alive today?" I said, "Last I heard." He says, uh, was there a chalk outline drawn around Bruce Pritchard that night at the, at the back of the arena? I said, not that I heard about. He said, then the motherfucker never fucking slapped me. Uh, and, and such, you know, I, I threw in a couple of adjectives. Yeah, he never slapped me. Nope. You know, uh, if I'm wrong at doing something, you advise me of it. But you're, you're not going to get physical with me. Republicans you know? apparently love Kenny Bowen. Wendy says, Ohio loves you. There you go. Me and oh uh, what, Kasich is that the guy? No, I, like not be advertising I like Kasich. I like I like Ohio is my least favorite state. No, no, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wendy's, Wendy's so funny. sweet. Don't do and, and she she's a nurse. She she's 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 she the should first, most definitely. She's a first responder. Wendy, do you want to come on down to Kentucky? Of course she does. Who wouldn't want to come? To <laughs> well, who, well, yeah. well. <laughs> uh, Dustin Anderson is getting a divorce. You guys. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. I've done. I've done, I've done it four times. Tom. Yeah. Well. Yeah. She can. <laughs> I don't, don't want to order me a shirt. For, no. Justin, if you want some advice on divorce, call me. Yeah, I'll give you all the advice you need. And, and Dustin, I got news for you. Uh, I'm not making any money off those t-shirts off KennyBowen.com. Not a goddamn dime. Yeah. I'm going to start. going to start. Got to contact my attorney. Uh, well, she's sitting right here. My attorney. <laughs> my attorney? My oh, attorney. attorney. My attorney. I Put literally up, um, my life to turn Yeah, it. Maya, we, accident, awesome. we accidentally did that one night. Maya says, I think I like that. I just start yeah, telling me. Yeah, he was attorney. telling some stupid fan. He was like, don't say that to me. I will get my attorney. And I was like, you know what? You ought to tell him that I am mm. your attorney. Just yeah. keep referring like to me as my attorney instead of Maya. Just, I have my attorney right here. Like well, and just keep going with him. Well, it's not it. a lie. Maya's, if I change my name to attorney. Maya, Maya's worked a few years in law offices and is like a year away from her law degree. It. Excellent. Way to on. go, sis. Way to go. I, I think your law degree is about as good as that uh, Stephen New guy at <laughs> the uh, Cornette uh, half. Well, think. his is from West Virginia, so I reckon mine is better. Yeah, well, if, if yours was from Cambodia, yours would probably be a little better. <laughs> no uh, to Cambodians. Big Daddy's asking fish questions. Can yeah. I answer that real quick? Yeah, hey, yeah, we're all, all right. here. we're all here just fucking around. Go ahead. All right. 
we got over here. I got Tiger Oscars. I got an albino tiger and a regular tiger. And I got a Jack Dempsey, South American Amazon. Over here, I have African cichlids. They come from three different lakes. Lake Victoria, Lake Maui, uh, Lake, yeah, and then Lake uh, Tanganyika. So I've got them. And on the other side, which I'll probably show you later, where the minnows are being sacrificially eaten, mm -hmm. are biker fish, B-I-C-H-I-R. They're from the prehistoric age. There's fossils of them. I have one that's wild caught from Egypt, and I have two that I'm growing out right now that are captive bred. They eat pellets. The other one, will, oh, he just ate one just now. He just jumped. Oh, just ate another one. I'm oh, watching. Really? Oh my He's God. going to town they're, on them. They're, they're going to eat. You said they snuck up on him in their sleep. Which seems That's what he usually does, but he must be hungry. Because he's knocking the crap out of him. He just got in his face and said, I'm eating you. He did. You they go to anyone.com and see a very similar, <laughs> very similar thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, just, Big Daddy, that's I mean, the reason I have. You. Oh, yeah. It's not fish either, but some ah, say. Somebody's getting eaten. <laughs> not, not not somebody's uh, getting eaten. Don't finish Someone's that. getting eaten at KennyBowen.com. No biker fish doesn't <laughs> biker. -I, -I, I, 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 did not -I, create, I did not create that Kenny Bowen account, by the way. I don't know who or what did. No, but he did though. He did. All right. He made a Kenny Secretly. Bowen. I, I want to tell the whole story here because uh, he left yeah, out some important do. details. Okay. Yeah. So I, last I night that. he had uh he had some little boys over here. And <laughs> what? <laughs> King Dad, Whoa. what? I got uh, a Okay, I saw the you picture. Know you learned everything. I you. saw the picture. I did, and I'm guilty. No, he had some fans over here, some younger fans. Who they were been, who, age, who had been but... fans of mine since they were 12 or 13, and I didn't even know one of them was at the uh, the, the breakfast with Bolin uh, in Cornette a couple years ago, three, yeah. uh, three or four years ago. Very yeah. nice young men, and they came over here. Well, let's to not hang get carried out. away. So, uh, sure very adequate young men, and uh, you saw something I didn't see. <laughs> wow, oh my God, oh, they were taller than him. They both well, one of, them, one of them claimed to be 6'5". It turned out we measured him. He was 5'8". <laughs> you he was 5'8". Yeah, I measured him. He was, you know what would be funnier? If he was actually, he said he was 6'5", and he was only 5'6". That yeah. would be funnier. Yeah, he, 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 wow. he, was just, he was dyslexic, so we forgave him. We <laughs> the so these guys come over here, and they go through his briefcase, just looking for stuff to find. Oh, it. they grabbed one of my brand new microphones and opened it. <laughs> The, the big, the big, the big one what? that claimed to be six five that was actually five six. Here he is. He's going. He's six four and a half. Thank oh, you. You are not. No, Braden. You were six four. What? I measured you. Yeah, yeah. You measured him, all right. I measured both of them. But both. You, now you, oh, wow. you, you measured something. We, we might need to have a, a page extension. Well, she, she, <laughs> Maya wow. measured. Maya did measure something that was half an inch, but it wasn't his height. <laughs> No, that was Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's not even here oh, to defend himself. Oh, he's up here. Oh, really? That bad? He's de crack uh, That's he's fine. De he's deglutening as we speak, and you go yeah. there. Yeah, if he had I wouldn't the, make those jokes if, he had, if it were true. If he, had okay. the, if he had the gluten, it could be bigger. Who knows? However... So However, they were taller than him, but they were going through stuff and they found this little, it was like, now, now where, where did I ever say I was pissed that, well, if I were five foot five, I would be pissed. There's oh, no doubt. But they towered we, over we, him. No, no him towering. So There's a picture. And all his Filipino girlfriends wanted a picture of all of them to see how short he was to show off how tall the other guys were. He was like, oh, I'm going to stand next to them. I took this picture. He was minuscule. There was just a little bowling ball running around. It is cool. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's it's only... It's minuscule. only six o'clock here on the West Coast. You can't minuscule. work like minuscule. You don't go minuscule. People aren't waking up here. Nobody has uh, ever that's too big of a word on me. Or out here out west. No. Six foot. Minuscule. Oh, no, Jesus Christ. Yikes. <laughs> okay, big daddy. Big daddy. I got an 80 gallon and a 75 gallon. So they got a plenty of room. I got a 20 gallon for one fish, and I got a 10 gallon for the two I'm growing out, and I got a 30 gallon. For downstairs, well, Brand, Brandon, Brandon Lacefield, for his defense, he has a one inch and he has a half ah. inch, but he gets the one inch whenever he goes to KennyBowen.com. Which ah. he discovered, he goes through the briefcase and he finds this flyer where Kenny <laughs> oh, used a horrible, horrible Photoshop job to advertise uh, some show from like the early 2000s. No, it was my movie that I was in. Uh, uh, <laughs> movie. Uh, what, was, what was the name of the movie? Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Ultimate Deathmatch 2. I'm the big star of the movie. I'm the centerpiece of the goddamn ad. Oh, really? And they, It's and some, the kind of movie you'd expect on Kenny Bolton. Well, uh, they, they, <laughs> uh, many people said I stole the movie, and Jimmy Cornette said it was petty theft. <laughs> oh, boy. And at the very bottom, it says... Check me out at KennyBolin.com. So he puts it into his phone, <laughs> something we haven't done in years. I didn't even know he had this website. He made this website, but he abandoned it. And all his ex-girlfriends went on, and they were like, oh, I'm going to show him. And they oh, have created a coalition. Come on in. There he goes, texting them right now. I'm, Text te right I'm now. texting one of my girlfriends right now. Get Making over sure it. she doesn't go on KennyBolin.com. No, I'm not. No, don't. You got <laughs> MSN. You got to put the MSN <laughs> in there. Oh my god, that'd be right, I, I need we'll my, I need my special guest to come in the Let's room right now if we could. If we, if we could all right. Well, I don't um, know who your special guest is. Yeah. If it's one of your girlfriends, well, you real quick, real quick, Dustin Anderson. You've always we wanted like African one, one of my girlfriends. He likes one of them. Which one? Uh I, no, 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 we can't say the name. No, can't, can't say the name. name. Yeah. All right, fuck girl. Rico likes fuck girl. Her name is oh. You like her, Rico? I don't think uh, I don't think Rico was on the show that we named her fuck girl. Oh, no, I'm shocked. <laughs> Take it back as a Rico. You're facing it all. What? I like who? Uh, fuck girl. Uh, what? Fuck girl. Her name. Okay, <laughs> don't 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 yeah. do that to me. That's her hidden name because we okay. can't. She's hidden married. <laughs> she's <laughs> married, and we okay. can't reveal. You can't you can't hold me to a hidden name. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you just hit me with a chair, Flash. Whack. Oh, I know it. Girl, girl. I'm, oh, so Dustin, real quick. There's two type of blue cichlids: the Come African on. blue cichlid, and they got the electric blue acara. Okay, and those are man-made. So if you want a really beautiful fish, choose the electric blue acara. I got three of them. And I call them my pet boys, Manny, Mo, and Jack. They get along fine, but you got to be careful. You got to get them the same size at the same time, or else they will they will eat each other in the tank. They'll pick their fins. But my three are doing okay. That's why I call them pet boys. Mm -hmm. So electric blue uh, cars, get them at the same time. Uh, did you just wave to his fish? I did. Well, sometimes they wave back. <laughs> they do. They're looking for their flippers. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her flip flop. Did you, you don't. That, that's that's waving. That's what, well. Where's my other hand? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look at these guys. Look at these, these guys are too much. Look. Oops. I'm I'm knocking everything down because I'm trying to show you guys. But my goodness, they're. I mean, they're all here watching everybody. Look. They're like social. Yeah, they see you guys on the screen and they're going nuts. See, Look, there's there's the jailbirds. Yeah, their camera hogs, all right. There's, there's no the jailbirds. There's one Akara. I've got the Bolivian cartel because they're Bolivian ram cichlids. I call them the cartel. You know, but they uh, all like being uh, on TV. Uh, uh, special guest, please hit the join link and come in here and be on the show with us. Can you do that for me? I sent you a join link. You've got it. Hit the join link. Come on in here in the room with us. Can you do that? You go. Let's do that. Glad you're here, but hit the join link. Come on in the room. You you, you're, you're the big surprise guest of the night. We're going to talk about Crohn's disease tonight. I'm wearing the purple. I got the, I got this thing here. So we're going to talk about that some tonight. So, so shut up when I'm talking about that, but come on, <laughs> come on in. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Uh, so we'll see if the special guest. What did you say, Kenny? Um, what, you said, I, oh, Jesus? Did you say that? what 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 did i say you said oh jesus oh did jesus well I, i'm sorry oh lord but he's asleep uh, upstairs so. <laughs> the man upstairs rico said i prayed to the man upstairs i said so do i, I said, name <laughs> is upstairs. Oh, maya slap dad for us please he's, right. he's going he's going he's uh, going crazy and he's going to give an update on the top 10 list boy guys uh these two pieces of shit that were over here last night, I don't want to throw out any names, but Brandon Lacefield, <laughs> Braden, 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 a girl's name, I might add. Uh, Braden? I've Braden. never met a girl named Braden. Well, That's you a man's you, name. you never will. Well, you uh, haven't been around long as Kenny has. So yeah, I've been true. around a long time. When I was a boy, <laughs> girls were named Braden. Uh, <laughs> hello, Braden, you little sissy boy. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we, 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 were, we were bullies back in when I was in school. We bullied everybody. 
And uh, and what was his buddy's name? Zach, Zach. Zachariah Creekish. Yep. Oh, Zachariah Creepish or something. Like that. Die, I think. Where's he at? Where's that little pissy at tonight? Oh, Is he in here? He, 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 he was. He was the wee you little. You almost beat one. him up with a baseball bat. No, that was that was that was. You the beat little. both of them up with a baseball bat. No, not both of them. Yeah, one yeah, at a time. You did. No, one of them was being disrespectful and wouldn't let me touch his phone. But because before I, that, you beat and, the other and one he up. wouldn't give me the name of the girl that I knew he wasn't dating. Right, but before that, before Zebediah that? also beat up. Zebediah, yeah, <laughs> Zebediah, Zebediah, with a golf club or the ball bat? With the ball bat. Yeah, I did pull the ball bat on on him too. Very a, violent. A, 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 a real, it was well, it was violent. They'd been here a long time. They wouldn't leave. They'd been here a long time. They, I think these two have read shit themselves. We should get they, out of they, here, they, man. They, 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 took <laughs> so. me to, they took me to dinner and then hold you out. You guys can't leave now. You're in the middle of this shit right now. Oh, and I, you're between my sister and my dad. You ain't going nowhere. Because uh, Scooby <laughs> and Chew Cow will get a piece of you. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'm doing my best to. to uh, come on now. Come on. Okay, well, I got a question, all right? Yeah, go ahead. I've always wondered this. Kenny, you've told me that when, in the early 2000s, you were really in wrestling, a lot of these wrestlers used to rent a room in your house, like Aaron did and some other people. Rico li Rico lived with me for a while. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. Uh, did uh, Rico why. taught me to learn how to sleep face down. <laughs> oh, Kenny. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry, Rico. Well, you, you, know, you set him up for it. In front of the You know sure. Rico used to live with me. No, it wasn't me. It was Chris. <laughs> Dad, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Where did you get that at? You used to say that to me back in the day. You're killing me, Smalls. Where did you get that at? Sandlot, the movie. Sandlot, man. One of the best baseball movies ever. Made. Uh, That's put the up, best baseball movie ever. Right. Put up David's question. Oh, really? David? What's David got to say? Why not? Oh, okay. Oh, oh here we get. Zachary, 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 Zachary and Sharon can't pronounce the name, but she's great. Thoughts on <laughs> new favorite psycho doctor? Yeah, he does believe. Yes, he does believe in aliens. And and, okay. and and right after the FDC killed uh, the hydrochloroquine bullshit uh, oh, just God. a couple of days ago, <laughs> Trump came <laughs> out today in his press conference and put it over because this doctor who believes in aliens. Uh, said it was all right. Take Can I shot. just say though that yes. an overwhelming amount of Americans believe in aliens? Overwhelming? I have yeah. never met what, anyone. What, per, what hang percentage on. would you say? I have never met a European who who believes in aliens. Not that they don't exist, but like I've never met one. Oh, and then I'm, I come I'm here, telling and you, the most rational of people. I mean, all people are like, no, aliens are a thing. Why? Well, is what percentage would you say in America? Uh, well, okay, uh, people have fifty percent at least. Yeah. Forget percentages. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if we are that audacious i'm using a big word how's that one that was that wasn't <laughs> bad. Audacious that word. To, to think that we are the only human life or any life form in the whole universe, universe. Yeah. yeah the only life form in the universe mm -hmm. that is that is small-minded and stupid thinking see i got i agree rico okay you guys have a point let me, i just never thought about all it. right let me give my spin on that and then we have a special guest we're gonna all we're going to break kenny uh well, now we're gonna do a commercial Go ahead and give your opinion. We're going to commercial. No, you, I'll, give, I'll, give my opinion, I'll give my opinion during the commercial. No, I, cer I certainly believe we would be small minded and just bumfuck idiots if we believed there was no other life forms. There's life. I'm forms telling there. you, there's no other life forms here as of now. Uh, if they were, they'd be shopping down at the mall at St. Matthew's or something, getting some decent clothes. Would be my. Yeah, opinion. but. You now, know. now, if you watch Killer Raccoons from Outer Space, you will see the aliens have made it. No, no, no. They're They're killer. Killer. Well, well, we no. will get there. We watch to give you a little teaser, just a little teaser before we start with our special guest here. Stay on the line because we will tell you later about the movie about raccoons mm -hmm. in outer space mm -hmm. who spy on oh, naked goodness. women at the beach. Mm -hmm. oh, Sounds like the just as a matter of fact, I saw matter of fact, I saw, matter of fact, I saw one of those raccoons. I saw him on his little phone and he dialed up KennyBolin.com and there he was. <laughs> See, but he didn't get the real site. He should have Kenny Bolin MSN.com. He should have done that. I think he was oh, trying shit. to donate. He wanted to be a Patreon member, but he yeah. didn't. Know he missed the okay. MSN. Special guest, uh, get there your camera lined up there. Make sure your, your beautiful face is ready to be on camera here. We're coming to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest tonight. The reason that Rico's wearing purple, that I'm wearing real purple, uh, the special purple shirt that I had made especially for her. Mm -hmm. 
She's probably our biggest Canadian. Well, she's Maya's biggest Canadian fan. She's not mine. Every time she comes into the room, she says, hello, Kenny. With hello. A disgusting, a disgusting tone in her type. And then, hello, beautiful Maya. We get that shit every time. So I've invited her to be on the show tonight, all the way from Canada, where they don't believe in aliens. Ladies and gentlemen, the and special... They don't get out much. Did she just go away? You moved your you, mouth. <laughs> you, <laughs> she's, you, she's like an alien got her. You messed with. Yeah, her. an alien got her. Alien. Oh she's my back. god, she, she got abducted. She's back. She's going she to get probed. Aliens, but she's back. Uh, uh, she, thank God, was abducted by an alien who's a fan of mine. Is all right, do the show. Where's she? Where's she at? I got the spinning circle. Hey, there she is. Hello, Rory. Hello, Rory. Beautiful. Hey, Rory. Hello, Rory. <laughs> Hello. Now she's on pause. All right, Rory. Do you have audio, darling? <laughs> yes, I do. There we go. She's got audio. Can you guys hear me? We hear now you. We, can. we yes. see you good. The show is done in your honor tonight. Maya showed up like 40 minutes late for your show. <laughs> I'm sorry, but in my defense, I was doing laundry because I was washing my purple shirt. And you can't really see it because it's so dark in here. But this is purple. It's dark. There's two kinds of, of white above your goddamn head. There's a hundred watts there. There's 500 watts of white in here. It's not that dark. <laughs> oh, I just realized that the Bone Alley banner is over my goddamn head uh, and my. Well, go body. to banner. Go to banners and take our banners. So you away. can't even take the head. banner off. Take the back. Hey, yeah. who is the banner about? off? Who's coming from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we can't see Maya, but Maya, Dad, Maya I don't mind not bad. seeing you. Maya looks better than ever. So like, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, the way oh, yeah. Thank God. God. There we go. There you go. All right. There's Maya. There she okay, is. Okay. Who's the two bozos in the background again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bozo one and bozo two. Twiddle the internal dumb, Rico. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I just want to ask you to smile. She got a great smile, Rory. A she great does have smile. Great. Well, she's happy to here with the king tonight, is my guess. That's it. She's not Asian. Lay off her, King. Yeah, well, she could be. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles just right and goes to KennyBolin.com. Oh, yeah. No, she's yeah. got to go to KennyBolinMSN.com. How can many times am I going to tell you this? Rory can, Rory, can you do me a favor if you have the ability to do it? Can you rotate your phone so you'll be widescreen like the rest of us? Can you Rotate, oh, Kenny. This is a G show. I know. <laughs> it, it, okay, there, yeah. there, there, there. okay, there we go. She's in there HD now. She was in standard yeah. definition, and we just got her now in HD, so we're doing God. good. There nice. Okay. So, yeah, go ahead, honey. Kenny, for the record, I'm mixed with Chinese, so just like lay off. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. There you go. That, that's a secret between you and yeah. I. <laughs> I, I. I didn't know you were Asian Chinese. Uh, oh, there goes look the out. You're going to be on the top ten okay. list, Lori. We you're going to make Rory. the top ten. Allow me to introduce Rory again. <laughs> Hello, Rory. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> how you like my purple now how you like wow. me now oh <laughs> my god <laughs> you said the magic words rory you said the magic words hell you definitely need you definitely need to go to kenny bowling.com <laughs> kenny bowling msn <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck the right. msn she's going to <laughs> kenny bowling.com <laughs> You got promoted, Rory. You got promoted. Right. Uh, you, you, shit, you slid in top five and didn't even Rory's know. Rory's like, it. what the fuck did I get myself into? <laughs> I'm never going to get to speak to Rory ever again. It's She's all over. From now on. It's all over for Our you now. Our love affair is over. I'm going to miss you. You're done. You are so done. Uh, Rory, <laughs> go ahead. No, but, oh, Maya, I am not done because, you know, me and you, we got a thing. Kenny's just crazy. <laughs> Indeed, exactly. We yeah. still Why do all my guests come on here and tell me how crazy I am and insult me right to my face? Is it, <laughs> well, it's, not, a, it's that? not an insult. It's a compliment. Well, I guess. Yeah. It a compliment. If, you take, if, if, you, love, if you take it that way, then, then, then that, that's Well, good. you need to take it that way. It's, all right. it's a compliment. Relax. It's a compliment. I'm coming <laughs> down, down as we speak. Mm, I knew oh, I liked you for a reason. I just didn't know. <laughs> That's all this poor girl can take, Kenny. Gotta uh, that's what most of your girlfriends say to me. Stop, Kenny. Stop. 
I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other oh nine and a half Asian girls out there, uh, Rory is, is belongs to Maya. I've been trying to steal her from Maya for quite some time, and it hasn't really worked out yet. And every time I chat with her, I said, are you ready to come to, to the dark side yet? And it never wow. works out. It never works yeah. out. So. Uh, no. Can Rory give a sign in Canada? <laughs> uh, what do we got? We got here? a question for Rory here. There you, go. there you go. Answer that one, Rory. <laughs> you got, you got, any, got any political oh. stroke? No, I don't got any political stroke, unfortunately, because we already have bad, uh, bad government here in Canada, too. So Yeah, you've told me about that. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily any better there than it is here, except for maybe the health care, I guess. Well, the healthcare, and at least we don't have a dumbass in office. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Rory and Very I have true. been talking a lot about the police in Toronto and the things that they've been doing. Like, for instance, how the police was called on uh, a, it was a case of a woman who had epilepsy and she was having a seizure. Her family called 911 for help and the police showed up, told her families to stand out in the hallway away from the, the young woman. And a few seconds later, the young woman falls from like the ninth floor off of her balcony and dies. No. And yeah, I'm sorry, we're going to correct me if I'm anything wrong. Something wrong. It's 24th floor. You're right, 24th. I don't know why I keep thinking. Yeah, I thought floor. I thought it was a lot higher oh, than the ninth 24th floor. 24th floor. I gave an elbow serious? drop once off the ninth that's, floor. That's, I mean, that's two hundred. That's two thousand four hundred oh, feet. God. See the. That's the, a long yeah. way. Yeah, it's a long. That's way. a long yeah. way. And Not then the family man would do that. No, no. The family, the family kind of knew that the police had something to do with it. So right now they just had a bit of, had like a memorial thing for her mm -hmm. recently, a memorial fundraiser. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody knows how she died with what happened between her and the police in that apartment. Nobody knows. Rory, well, Rory, this is Rico here in Vegas. Do the police in Canada wear body cams? No, they're trying. They said that they don't. The government claims there's not enough money available to give them body cams for police, but trans, but like transit inspectors are going to give them body cams. You got to get body cams because of something like this. You got to have body cams. I mean, yeah. oh, a while ago, okay, but now with things the way they are, and yeah, it, 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 probably, have body cams. it probably needs to be mandatory worldwide. It, 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 it yeah. has to be. It has to be because it's not, I mean, this is appalling. And I, I'm a retired police officer about to get back into police work. And I, Maya and I and Kenny and I have talked about this on when I was a police officer back in the 80s when I first became and then did all my stuff that some fan don't know I did, which I apologize. <laughs> but and then went back into police work. A lot has changed in 20 years. So I yeah, think all law enforcement needs to have body cams. Because right now, like, um, I think about a month or so ago, an older gentleman, an older brown gentleman was killed by the cops. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Chris, Chris Schmidt, I got to answer this right now. No, it's not 224 feet. Okay. <laughs> if she was throwing out 24 stories, they give 10 feet, 8 to 10 feet per room. And if it's, she threw out 24 stories... You're talking twenty four hundred plus. Yeah. Okay. Well, so well, actually, actually, I'm going to have to correct you. Chris okay, correct me. As bad as I hate to say it, Chris Schmidt is right. Wow. Uh, ten, ten feet per story. Ten stories would be a hundred feet. Twenty stories would be two hundred feet. Okay. And another four stories would be forty more feet. So as bad as I hate. So to So you're defend all it, wrong. It's not two hundred and twenty-four. It's two hundred. Two hundred. Approximately two forty is what it is. All right. All right. Okay. Approximately two, ten story. Uh, uh, ten feet per story. Either way, it's a ton. Now, yeah, had, had, had she fallen off the two hundred and fortieth floor, then you would. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, my math was wrong, well, so I just got right. caught up. All right. And Rory, got, if you remember, you also sent me a video of a police officer checking on a woman who was like passed out outside of a hotel room and how she was dragging her by her hair. Do you could you re, uh, remind everybody what that was about? Um, I'm not, I was it wasn't too clear on a video of just like how the situation started because the video started, I think, midpoint while she was being dragged in the hotel by her hair. But um, they there wasn't really much of an investigation to it of like what happened, how it happened, why did it happen, that type of thing. 
So pretty much like right now, because the policing is doing a lot of shitty stuff with people, yeah. especially just like natives, browns, blacks, and everything else that like nobody has faith in the police at all. So if there's like a me- if there's like any cases for where you have to do like you have to check on someone, it you have to just hope to God they'll still be alive by the time it's all over. Rory, really Rory, I got an important question oh. for you. What would you say? Because I have no clue, so you would probably have a pretty good idea on this. What would you say the percentage of population is in Canada that is that is non-white, and that that would be Asian, Black, Latina, what have you? What, what do you think the percentage is? Because whites are about to become the minority in this country if it no, hasn't happened. Oh, well, that's there's a lot of experts saying otherwise that they're not. They, they make the, up sixty percent. Uh, well, I, well. 60% of the population? Uh, no, I've heard that the very near future that whites are going to be the minority. They've been saying that since the 40s. No, I never mean. heard that shit in the 70s. Or they the literally 80s or the have 90s. been saying this since the 40s. Though. Well, I didn't realize you were alive then. So. This was a tactic for eugenics. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> I'm uh, I'll, I'll fill you guys in. Um, there was an article on um, Toronto Life with the magazine that's here in Canada where they said that uh, Yes, whites are going to be the minority because there's going to be a lot of ma- races that are mixing, and they put a little make boy on the cover, uh-huh. right? And then the thing is, there's a lot more non-whites, but the thing is, there's still we still have the systematic racism. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and because it it deals with employment, schools, and everything else. Because once, because I'm playing college now, if I go to a better school. Like, I will definitely have the systematic racism because of the simple fact, because I came from a poor neighborhood, single parent, everything else, they don't think I would achieve to be at that point where I should be at the prestigious school. Right. And that's how I'm looking for a house, looking for a house for myself. It's just like if I go into the, one of the best neighborhoods, I'll have people walking around, checking up my house, seeing when I'm going to sell it. Because it happened to another girl that I used to go to high school with. She's Salvadorian, her boyfriend, her husband is Polish. Polish Italian. So, and she moved into an area that was like 90% Indian. And then that specific neighborhood, the, the neighbors would walk around her house to see if they're going to sell it or not. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, here in Louisville, we just found out in the investigation of Brianna Taylor's murder that the police in Louisville has a specific plan and literally is a plan. This is uncovered up. They have a plan to gentrify one of the neighborhoods that's very close to our house called Russell, uh, where Brianna Taylor was murdered. It is a uh, very black neighborhood, but the police have this plan where they're going after the black residents in that neighborhood and trying to charge them of whatever they can to get them kicked out of their housing so that they can raise the rent and get white folks to move in there and this isn't this isn't a conspiracy wow. theory this is the plan that they found in the investigation and nobody can well well that's the thing, terrible the that thing is, is that, well, where i live they decide um in canada they decide to put in bill 184 which is a bill that they claim that it was used to protect tenants mm-hmm. but it's mostly to give uh landlords the power to evict people out of their homes faster because we're still under a pandemic there's still an emergency we did have a bit of a spike and then some people thought it would take it upon themselves to have a giant house party of over 200 people with ballet parking what there wow, you go sounds like dumb. a great idea yeah and right. it was so yeah so as a result our stage three down in toronto is delayed by i think another couple of days or another week i'm not sure you know, it makes you wonder what two days would do, don't it? Yeah, because the thing is, it's just like a lot of people who are sick now is a lot younger, and they're like from twenty up to thirty-nine. Yeah, now that so, so the virus is mutated. Right now, you're saying there's a possibility it has mutated, or there's another strand of the there's another strand of the virus because it could do the quick. Uh, it could do the quick. It could multiply real quick, but it could be another strand as well because now it went from seniors being sick to younger Young people being sick. Yeah. Young adults. 20 to 30, yep, 20 to 39. We, well, I he, haven't heard anything about kids, thank God, but they want to open schools in September. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, well, my, my theory on that, the reason is, and I've heard some experts that agree with it, and there's others that don't, but my theory on that is, is that the seniors like me who leaves the house once every two weeks, 
and has gotten much better at wearing a mask uh, as, as time has gone on. But because well, number one is mandated now, there's a lot of places won't let you in if you don't. But my right. theory is, is that the seniors, uh, and this was the case in Florida for quite some time, were extremely careful. They didn't give a shit what Trump or the governor or anyone said. They, they were taking precautions, social distancing and wearing masks. That was the young people that were piling into the bars, the beaches, uh, the restaurants, turning restaurants in the bars when the, when the bars would close. And now they're the ones getting it. I mean, we just had the Florida Marlins who basically ignored oh, every yeah. protocol going. Yeah. And they now got 17 yeah. people on a 27 man right. team. And they already that got all better, got it. That are right. yep. And now not only are they having to cancel the Marlins games, but they're having to cancel the games of the players that were just playing them and canceling games of the, of the teams they're getting ready to go play. Yep. And so now they, 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 have- technically, they should be quarantined for two weeks. So they may have to cancel games for two weeks and it's just fucking everything up. Mm-hmm. And like, and like Bob Costa said today, one of the premier sports announcers in the world, he said, I'd like to think it's only going to screw with the Marlins, but you know, there's no. 30 other, there's 29 other teams. You well, know, this is going to happen to other teams. And now, yeah. what well, I mean, what, what happened? Well, because- yeah, that was bad. Because we have, we have- NFL canceled preseason today. Yep. Oh. They're, they canceled uh, four preseason games. Well, well yeah. four the- games, I should say. Go ahead, honey. Well, because uh, uh, um, the Toronto Blue Jays wanted to play back here at home. They did. Mm-hmm. They let the come play here. But the only thing that the government says is, like, you do spring training here, but you can't play your games here. So yeah. they looked at Baltimore, that didn't happen. They looked at uh, Pittsburgh, that didn't happen. The only place that said they would be willing to do it is Buffalo, Buffalo or something. Yeah. Have- yeah, I heard that. But they have to update the stadium. The thing is, because of the 17 Marley, Marlins players got sick, they mm-hmm. canceled the game for August 11th between them and the Blue Jays. I um, didn't know you knew so much about baseball. So Hell, you on top of your game. right now, all the NHL players. Oh, now, now you're talking over my head. NHL players here. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, a lot of the hockey players cool. are here. Is there two L's in hockey? They're, right they're here. Here. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, two L's people. in hockey? Polly so. <laughs> Polly so. Polly couple L's yeah. in hockey, yeah. Real real, real quick, <laughs> I got to say something real quick. Go ahead, Rico. Okay, real David Rush, get over it, okay? <laughs> it, it, I'm not beyond being corrected. So because I said what I said, I already apologized. Get over it, man. Well, wait, well, what did he say? I just he see said here he didn't da- want to correct uh, Rico because I already <laughs> called him an MF. Oh, uh, get over it. This yeah, is no yeah, forum. Yeah. Rico kind of said he was sorry. You know what? I did say I was sorry. Now, yeah, I, might have to, I might have to defend this rush guy here because my kid wouldn't be going to school either. And I say fuck Trump. So you want both of us, Rico? <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, I totally agree with this guy. My daughter will be staying home. I don't uh, fuck what Trump said. All right. You know what? I agree with you guys. Schools should not be open. No. At all. You know, the true irony is that in order to open the schools, they're having a meeting to talk about how they're going to open the schools. And the meeting is being held online. Yes. Because it's not safe enough to meet in person. The meeting's online because the world. I did not know that. So that should be your answer, whether you open schools or not. If you're going to meet over the internet, why are you going to put my kid in danger? Yeah, or my grandkid so, in danger to we go to school. Dollars, we because we we don't get tax dollars if your kid ain't in school. That's exactly. It's not the just that. Reason. There's more we'll to see. it. We'll, see. Well, well, and the other thing is that is that uh, they, they got to get kids back in school so people can go back to work. Because if people go back to work, the unemployment goes down, and unemployment goes down, I might get voted president of the United States. We'll but the well, one, no, it's uh-uh. it's not just that. The other thing is, well, that no, there's, there's this, a million fucking things. No, one of the main reasons, especially here in Louisville, is that they're hoping that the students who will have to go to public school who will be to go on person will uh, their parents will take them out of public school and send them to private schools that are doing uh, online classes uh-huh. so that these parents are now paying more for private school and putting money into the economy. You're thinking way deeper than any Kentuckians capable of. No, <laughs> no, that literally is what's going on. That's no, what they're doing right. with uh, Trinity right. and St. X. Yeah, they're, so they're basically uh, trying Trinity to just... and St. X have, they are very big Catholic schools, they're private schools. Mm-hmm. They have a much oh. bigger campus. People are going to want them to go there if it's an option. The, a lot of money is going to go into the Philipp- private schools. The Philippines, who is 80% Catholic and has probably a fifth of the problem that we fucking have. But then again, I can assure you they're not testing the way that we are. And we and we're like 10th or 12th in testing in the world. It might even be worse than that. Uh, Of course, Trump says we're number one. 
Uh, but even the, the Phil- even the Philippines are saying fuck going to school in person. <laughs> Um, uh, covering your face, Quit covering his face. Well, I mean, you don't read the comments, we're all laughing at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. no, I never read the goddamn comments. Damn. Block Christian. Yeah. Oh Christian. my god, <laughs> Chris. Man, I was having these stooges buy pizza tonight. Now you're buying it, you're buying the expensive Talking shit. To your brother, 40 bucks a pizza. <laughs> you got the shit in, but it's oh. two large pizzas. <laughs> so Rory, are you gonna come visit us at some point when all this is over? Hopefully, it just hopefully when everything is calmed down, I can actually be able to come down. <laughs> all right, oh now God, here, 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 here's my question: Who's uh, whose apartment are you oh gonna God. stay in? Are you gonna stay upstairs with the Lord? Or are you gonna stay downstairs with the devil? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Good one, King. Good one. Okay, the Lord, the Lord's up there. No, I'm going to stay with the Lord. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh, can, can, we, oh, can we block the guests? Can we block <laughs> them? I thought we could. I don't know. Remove. And- no, you, are, you are not going to block me because you were asked to come on the show for the longest time. We're not I have been. Block. I've been trying to get you out. No, this is where Rory set me up the other day. Me and Rory have lots of late night chats. You people oh, don't boy. know about it. <laughs> There we go. Lots of late night chats, Roy, than I have. And one night, I said, Roy, I said, you know what? let me give you a, a way to call my. I said, you and Maya should really talk. You you would love it. Oh, Kenny, we've been talking for months. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Why was I? No, no. <laughs> this is bullshit. No, we've been talking for months. <laughs> so I'm trying to be the nice guy and lead Rory on a leash to its little whatever you are. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, already there. Oh, Kenny, I was down here spent the weekend with her about two months ago. <laughs> really? You're always late to these. I things, was Kenny. definitely late to that thing. I was late to KennyBolin.com. <laughs> right? You know, there's such a thing. It's probably been up for years. Oh, Lord. Talk about wool over the eyes. Oh man, just uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting out there in a the goddamn Bugs Bunny cartoon you know, out there with my my sheep's clothing on and. Didn't work. Didn't work. Fuck, everything's fucking up tonight. God damn. There we go. Uh, now, we, had, we had you on for you. You broke my heart. So um, we had you on for a reason tonight, and we need to dedicate a little time to this. Yeah. Uh, vote Amy Grath. Well, there you go. We can do that. Uh, we already have, as a matter of fact. No, uh, we haven't. I no. didn't for him. But for anybody who's him. in Kentucky, well, for, who, who for her, know, what guy do you know named Amy? Who's Amy Grath? <laughs> Right. Other than those two assholes, do you know named Brain? Other, other than well, the girl that was over here last night. And for uh, Kentucky, well, please, for the love of God, vote Amy McGrath. We need McConnell out. Yes. Just wanted that out there. Please do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can go please on God. with the topic of the show tonight. Uh, the topic of the show. The reason I have this special purple shirt on that I ordered for her for some goddamn reason. <laughs> Didn't know she was upstairs with Maya. I had no clue. Uh, I ordered it, trying to win her over, trying to lure her over to the dark side, the devil's home, the pit down here. Didn't work. <laughs> Went upstairs. Well, I'll go with the Lord. Oh, fuck the Lord. <laughs> Sorry, Rico. Sorry, Rico. Rico, one of the biggest Christians I know, and I just said fuck the Lord on a podcast. But I meant, hey, I meant, I meant, hey. I meant the Lord. He's the biggest Christian, you know. Damn. I'm sitting right here. Why does no one believe a Christian just because I fucking you, cuss? You use the F word more than I do. I cuss all the time. Right? Oh. Where I'm from, cussing is not considered a sin. Who invited all these goddamn Christians in here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm agnostic. Damn. I'm agnostic. And you're brothers. <laughs> And I'm brothers, and my brother, he believes in something. I don't know what. And I believe in karma. I believe in karma. But only and the good parts of karma, not the bad too. parts. Not the bad only yeah. the Screw good it over parts. the people. It's not bad karma fuck for that. him. No, fuck that. that. That gets me points with the devil. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, David. Thank you, David Rush. So before we get into why the guest is here tonight and what we're going to talk about, and yeah, let's make some peace with David Rush. He's he's had some good points, and yeah. and then it's not his fault if he didn't know who he might not have even known who I was. He he's a periscoper. He he might not have known. He just uh, gave me uh, information on McConnell. So yeah, so McConnell there you go. Right yeah, McConnell. yeah, there we go. And yeah. uh, but I want to talk about uh, me working on my good karma. And okay. uh, first of all, uh, the good folks at uh, at Wayfair uh, sent me some, some extra chairs the other day, you know, just out of the kindness of the heart. And uh, these chairs we have here tonight, you see the guys and the girls, girl, and them. 
uh, the one that <laughs> the one that stole my girl is uh, in that chair. And uh, so tonight, uh, uh, tonight, uh, these guys are here because J.J. R. Wood, who works so hard on this show, he does all the editing, uh, puts up all the classic shows and, and works his ass off on this show for, for hardly anything at all. Okay. And, <laughs> and uh, so Maya got the first chair, the first free chair because she loved these so much and she get in it and. She was rocking back and forth. She went, oh, only if Rory were here. And I said, oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to get my yeah. shit in now. I'm going to get my She's shit in. I'm going to go on the floor now. So, yeah, I said, I said, all right, Maya, that's okay. All right, just take your goddamn chair that you've ruined and take it upstairs with you. So Maya got the first free chair. She got the, the, the pink chair that she was fantasizing about Rory in, which kind of irked me a little Damn. bit. Damn. That's, yeah, okay. that's fucked All up. Right. I agree with All you. Right. I agree with you, Christian. I, I'm there. Yeah. And uh, so so Maya got the first free chair. And then the, then the second free chair, I was hoosh gowed into by these people. Uh, her and they called me down here, and they want me to give a free chair for some goddamn reason to one of their friends that basically just – Ignores me all the time, insults me, calls me names. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels, who's, who's been on a couple of car trips. Lauren, so the Lauren Michaels got a free chair. So now I'm down. You know, these are $242 Folks, chairs. Folks, you take this to Twitter. You remember that Kenny Boland gave Lauren Michaels a free chair. I gave Lauren yeah. Michaels a free chair. I didn't give well, Billy Well, it beats a free lap oh. dance. Yeah, I could have gave Billy Zane a free chair, but then, no, I didn't give him. He hasn't showed up yet tonight, but by the way. You let him sit your lap, though. Not uh, yet. Uh, yeah, right, I would. So... um <laughs> So, so <laughs> Maya gets a free chair. She ruined it, and uh, and then Lauren Michaels, her friend, got a free chair. So that's going to be ruined. And uh, I'm sitting there thinking, you know what, man? Our wood works his ass off for me. He really and he had a fit over He's the chairs. Right. He saw the fit. man. Those are badass, man. And he's just putting the chairs over the. So it took me three days. I'm just. I'm not going to admit to being a total great guy. It took me three Never. or four days to talk myself into it. And I said, you know what? They've already took all my money from me anyway. I was going to put them chairs online, make a couple hundred bucks pop off from them. But no, no, we've already given two away. So I decided to give the third chair to my producer and editor, J.J. R. Wood over here. Uh, and I'm also going to give him some free earbuds that list for about 10 bucks. So he's going to get those too. <laughs> hey. and, and that's jacking the price up. So R. Wood gets a chair. I feel like Oprah now. R. Wood gets a chair. Maya gets a chair. Christina gets a chair. And Rory, if you uh, switch teams, <laughs> you might get a chair. Or oh, you can share oh, mine with me. Oh, no. no. Ah. That's not fair. Oh. <laughs> You dirty bitch. <laughs> well, we know who won, chair. I thought we know who won this already. It's right. Yeah. yeah, Maya wins. I already <laughs> know that, sis. <laughs> over. Well, I keep setting myself up for failure this entire show. Uh, 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 Rock, uh, Maya, hello. Is that a periscoper? Hello, hello. Yes, Rocky, we have Maya. some periscopers in here. If you, this is Maya. your first time, hello, guys. Yeah, well, uh, welcome, 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 like welcome. Doing? Look at that. Look at that good looking guy How there. Are you doing? This? Well, we, Rocky, we applaud the fans now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, they had her hit on them. <laughs> you know, one of the two. Uh, if you're Asian, we leave that to Kenny. Wait, wait a minute. I got a question. Who the fuck is fake David Rush? <laughs> Who's that? Who's fake David Rush? No, no, no. He, he's yeah. the real. His real name is Pete. But where's the fake one? I want to well, see no, that guy. Well, no, he's the fake one because fake his David name Rush. is Pete. His oh, name is Pete. He's well, he's actually David the Rush. fake David Rush. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that adds. Uh, how'd you know his name is Pete? Yo, man, a he said it. Read. I it on the screen. Oh, there it is. See, if I just bother. See, I, I got Trump's disease. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I got Trump's disease. That seems to be going rampant over there in Kentucky with you. <laughs> it's going. Well, <laughs> and, and West Virginia. <laughs> Let's not forget West Virginia. The, the Huntington home. will be specific. Hun Huntington, the home of the. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Because if teeth we invented brush. anywhere else, it would be a teeth brush. There That's right. Be. There we wow. go. So, Roy, now that you've broken my heart and uh, wow. my Facebook page, um, <laughs> would you like to tell us a little bit about Crohn's disease? Because it was your idea for me to do this. You told me to that you wanted me to make a purple shirt in your honor. I said, fuck you. <laughs> Break up with Maya. Maybe I'll talk about it. <laughs> but, oh my God. but but yeah. I did it anyway, and here and Rico tried to hit on you tonight. He's wearing the purple shirt. And I, was, I said, "Hey, I get first." <laughs> I history. went and bought this special, and I, and yeah, the only thing I have purple is my old wrestling tights. Yeah, so, he said he 
on that. I mean, oh, look at Rory wishing you were in the tights tonight. I saw that look. What? Can't win tonight. <laughs> So you're into the I have, gun, I huh? have pink, and I had a pink tea back. I'll tell you that. Under the I'm glad you said back. I'm so glad you said pink tea back. I know, right? <laughs> you know what, Rico? I do remember you were in a match wearing a purple tights. I thought which match, but yeah. In, I don't know. If, I can't remember if it was for a title or not. But if you were, I remember the, where I seen those tights one time. It was No Mercy with Charlie, me, and Jackie against Bubba Dudley and Jeff Hardy. It, it, it was, I think it was No Mercy. I wore the yeah. purple. Yeah. Where's, your, where's your microphone, honey? Is, is it built into the headphones or? It's built into the headphones. It's built into the headphone. Okay. Yeah. I, w I wish it was, uh, and I'm not trying to sound dirty here. I wish it were closer to your mouth. And I do mean the microphone. I swear to God. Oh, oh good thing you clarified that. Maya, Maya, clarified. Maya, where did your head go? Yeah. <laughs> Maya, say Maya, it's up Rory's ass, but Maya, you already know that. Maya went turtle on me. <laughs> Maya's head's up Rory's ass. Well, that explains a lot. Yep. No wonder I couldn't find Maya the weekend Rory was here. All right, we got a question here. Do you guys want to go into the actual topic here? Yeah, let's go. Let's go there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, is Crohn's disease an intestinal thing? I'm thinking it's something else. Uh, I, it's something else, isn't it? No, it's autoimmune disease that affects your intestines. Uh, okay. Large colon, depending um, when you got diagnosed, how quick the doctors could be able to control your control Crohn's and and put you on the medication you need to be on. Now, how long have you been dealing with this? Uh, seven years. Um, when I first got diagnosed, I was in culinary school, and at, during that time, I was taking care of my mom as well. Right. Because my mom got, because she was just getting, she was getting diagnosed for uh, thyroid cancer. Yeah. So it was just like, she got sick, then I got sick. I had to finish school and work. Oh, man, oh god, work and everything else. So it's it's pretty interesting when you have two sick people in the same household. One yeah. has to take care. Of not easy. Not easy at all. Yeah. Oh. It's not. So yeah, when I first got diagnosed, I was in culinary school. There were some bizarre reasons that I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink anything. Every time I had something, I just threw it back up. Oh my god! And then like this, I dropped. Because I'm five foot five and my and my weight's usually about like one thirty, I dropped mm -hmm. down to one oh six. Oh my, wow, yeah, that's wow. a hell of a so, drop. So as a result, I had to do the vitamins through intravenous. I had to take a lot of medications. I was yeah. at thirty two pills when I first got diagnosed. Oh my, I, I and now many. And then on top of that, I include vitamins and everything else. I'm looking at pushing like at least fifty pills. Like every day. Some days I would miss the pills. Some days some other pills give me bad reactions. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes so the I'm, side effects of medication is worse than the actual oh, yeah. diagnosis that you have. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. you're you're way over what I did. I was on sixteen medications when I got even sick. Even and, I've never been on that many. Man, and you're oh, doing my 50? max. My max is seven or eight. Wow. Damn. The side yeah. effects is just probably tremendous, Rory. My goodness. The gummies. Yeah. We, we, we were going to do a post show tonight, but I want people to know more about this and I yeah. want to make sure everybody's got access to it. So we're not going to do a post show tonight. Uh, I, I want, I'd like to go at probably another 20 minutes, go to about 10 05. Because we started real late tonight anyway. Uh, Rory will be back. I think she had an internet issue. Yeah. Either okay. that or, or somebody offered her some marijuana, I her think. Just happened. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> she <laughs> was a sure. dealer out in the bargain lot. I don't know. But, uh, there's but, there's but from my end, Kenny, if, if she was yeah, we, we there, there, well, there you are. You were out in the parking lot. But I see you're back. Uh, uh, Rory. Um, yeah. When I was sick, uh, I had a friend talk to me about vegan and juicing. And getting my nutrients through natural ways. Have you ever looked into something like that? The reason I won't do vegan is because of the simple fact that because with my Crohn's, I do need protein as well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the proteins, like for like beans and everything else in dark vegetables, I can't have. So I okay. have that in rice at least all the time because I can't do raw vegetables or else I'm back in the hospital for another like two weeks. 
Wow. You know? Wow. And so then, you can't do any vegetables at all? Unless if they're cooked. Like raw vegetables, they can't happen. So that means you can't even juice. You can't even juice because that's raw. No, I can still this thing is just like I can't eat it, but I can juice it. But the thing is I have to be very careful with certain vegetables. Like with carrots, I can get away with. You know? Right. Tomatoes are kind of like a touch and go. Um spinach and spinach kale and everything else I can't do at all. Like that's not happening. <laughs> well, spinach oh. I can understand. Kale Kale, red cabbage do basically the same thing with the intestines. I can't do it, it I can't do you can't even do any red cabbage. Yeah, it's, no, it's just like it feels like that my intestines are in knots. Oh, and my it will, and then I would have to eat like a, a lot of applesauce, have some jello, have everything else to kind of like you know keep my colon calm. So right. it would be just like a lot for everything for me to get better. Wow. But, but with my Crohn's, it was caught early. So that's why I respond to treatment really, really well. Okay. It just took a long time. It took like the first six out of the seven years I've been diagnosed just to get things right. right. And, wow. as for, and as for Chris, uh, some of the question. Yes, I do use medical marijuana. Uh, my GI doctor was too thrilled about it at first, but he's just like, whatever you're doing, I don't care. Your blood work is great. We'll just keep it, just keep doing what you're doing. Great. But it took me a while to be in remission. But still, I have to be very careful because the side effects of this illness is just like I have brain fog some days. So other days, I have correlated arthritis. Oh my like god! Like I started having arthritis at like 32. So wow. Um, fast forward seven years is like if I make it to a gym or whenever it opens back up. Like it, it will relieve a lot of the pain and I won't feel so stiff or really tired because I would have fatigue. But mm. the thing is with fear in Canada, they don't recognize what I have as a disability that much. Mm. So if they don't have a lot of paper trail proof, they don't believe it. Yeah. And plus right now with the whole mask thing because of the pandemic, they don't believe I don't need a mask. And there was a couple of times I nearly passed out. So, oh, one of the drivers for TTC gave me this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. There you okay. go. Oh, uh, okay. So, so basically, yeah. I just. Yeah. So, basically, it's just like because I can't wear a mask, I just walk around with that. I can't wear gloves because because my skin's so sensitive to my clothes, I could break out in hives. I could be allergic to something and break out. Uh, yeah, there's something. Some, Brooke has an issue like that. He can't he wear latex, a, right? Yeah, he's allergic to latex, yeah. and he wore. He was uh, working in a hospital, and he yeah. wore the rubber gloves all day long. Yeah. His skin came off with it. Yeah, it, it, it was horrible. Oh, wow. it was horrible. Yeah. But but they do have special gloves for people who are sensitive to latex. They came out with those. Yeah, I don't I, think they had them then. Yeah, yeah. Was, Chris was like eighteen. When no, because now they have the plastic gloves. They use that subway. But the thing is, those because my workplace buys those gloves in a large, they would like practically fall off my hand. And I had a bit of a scare because I um, deep fried chicken wing because I had mixed it in the flour and I almost got burned because my gloves decided to go almost go into the fire. Why, man, Ooh. my gosh, that's terrifying! That is wow, my god. Um, so yeah, like, uh, with what I have, the highest diagnosis, believe it or not, is within Canada. Mm -hmm. And then you got the then you got the US and then you got Europe. But the thing is like a lot of other third world countries are not as advanced medication wise. So a lot they're of suffering. Have, yeah, they're, they're suffering. suffering more, and, yeah. and then some doctors here, they don't diagnose people properly on the right medication. So you have a side effect of a bad medication because I took a bad medication and I end up having a blood which I almost died like about a almost a year and a half ago, two years. Like the doctor literally had to intervene and take me off that medication. But as a result, I end up having the worst part of my anemia anyway, because I was sick really bad since I was a child with a lot of other things. But since I got Crohn's seven years ago, everything just decided to pop back up again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jesus, conveniently, yeah. right. Wow. Oh yeah. Jeez. Uh, now, so, uh, go ahead. So, go ahead. Yeah, so with the pandemic thing, when everybody saw me wear, wear the gloves, I don't wear the gloves because my skin is sensitive. 
wearing the mask and whatever, there's too many times I nearly passed out and I nearly right. passed out in a hotel. Rick Rick has the same issue with that as well. He, he, he just cannot wear that mask. He had to order some special thing that, uh, no, I, doesn't like. wow. I can't even wear the special thing. Cause they were just like, wear a shield. I'm like, I am not going to wear a shield in 40 degree weather with my really bad allergies and everything else. I go, that is not happening. I go, I'm give sure. me. Some you, you, you must mean 40 degrees Celsius. I take it. At 40 degrees Celsius. Sorry. Oh, that's hot. Like, a hot day. Yeah. Yeah. So well, my cause, friends tell me. Well, because well, there's a heat wave here in Canada anyway. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Well, I'm in Vegas. I understand heat. Canada should yeah. never have a day over 78. That just don't know, even sound right. That sounds so rude to me. I mean, it's a, a massive wave. country. They've got several climates there. It's well, yeah, but, but, climate. but there, there's a, I think Maine has two weeks of summer. It's just almost never hot. I think it's because you're thinking it's, but, it's but, north. But with global yeah. warming, though, yeah. uh, that, that shit has changed dramatically. I mean, but th th that's one of the jokes about the Northeast is that they get summer for two weeks <laughs> and yeah. then it's back to fall. <laughs> yeah. So. I figured Canada would be much the same way, especially northern Canada. Now, is it dramatically different in eastern and or western Canada? Temperature? It, uh, it is because of this. It's just like depending where you are located in a city, it could be a lot hotter. So if mm -hmm. I have to go downtown to do something, because there's so much buildings and there's no free nature or anything mm -hmm. else, yeah, that you get no freeze or anything. You get the pollution and then all yeah. the all the buildings around well with louisville we have the same thing to a degree here the temperature in downtown louisville can be 10 to 12 degrees warmer maybe even 14 degrees than it is in the suburban cities and areas because of all the concrete and pavement we have here it just retains the heat so long yeah. you'll see the nightly weather to be 84 downtown and be 69 in seymour which is about 30 yeah. miles away you know 30 40 miles okay because a couple of days ago, I saw this one white guy decided to take off his sandals, start walking barefoot on the long sidewalk. Oh, my. Ooh, I bet that hurt. That's gutsy. Oh. Or stupid. One of the well, uh, it's both. Uh, so while it's still hot out. So I'm like, oh, okay. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> um, there's cooling centers down here in Canada, but down here is where I live, but there's not many. You know, so. You either damned if you do or damned if you don't. And if you want to stay cool somewhere, you can stay in a mall, but you can't be in the weather for long. Or else before security asks you if you have any PPE or whatever. Or they'll get them they'll ask you to put on the sanitizer that smells like a bottle, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to make this clear. Somebody just asked. So Rory's advocating not wearing masks like Donald Trump. I'm guessing you are not because if if you no. have listened, you have that heard that she has she a lot said. of things that's that not, she has to that's face. Not what she said. And no. a mask is the least of her problems right now. Yes. Yeah, now yeah, we no we can wear masks without any issues. Yeah. So yes. if you can wear masks, we we'll can wear masks yeah. so that people like Rory don't have to, so that they're Absolutely. safe. And I'm with a lot of you guys. I don't like to wear it, but I do. I mean, my I think, knows damn well if we go out in public, yeah, and then we did it before yeah. the mandate. I mean, it's just I, out of common decency and respect. Yeah. You guys do the same. Uh, before, before we get much further off, though, I want because uh, JJ told me that you got a family member that that suffers with Crohn's disease as well, right? Yeah, my niece. She got some kind of condition from the medicine. I think it's called like moon face or something. Oh yeah, that's the, no, that's a steroid. That's prednisone. You only oh, take okay. it. You prednisone. Only yeah. I've heard of presence. You, you only take that in small increments for at least like a couple of weeks to maybe a month. You can't push it any further or else it will cause a lot of bad side effects on your body. Yeah. yeah. And plus and plus I'm not sure if your nieces, but if she's still growing and going through puberty and whatever, it could just kinda really mess up with the natural progression of puberty and everything else for her to grow up properly. So Yes, yeah, she had that for like So as year. soon as like the doctor says stop take her off. Take her off yeah, can't have her prednisone, prednisone is a very, 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 very strong drug. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about it. So. Yeah, because uh, another reason I wanted to have Rory on tonight because I know so oh, little about this. this way. It's go, go, go ahead, honey. Go ahead, Rory. Yes. Go ahead, Rory. You got cut off. Oh, her, she's her, having connection. Her, her internet's getting a little weak there. Yeah. yeah. Kind of Who's Rico's hair? Is he part of the new one or Facebook? So Rico's hair, while we have a break, is Kevin Michael Henderson Jr. We have been seeing your comments, Kevin. Uh, it's just that we were talking to Rory and yeah. we were kind of like putting off yeah. asking questions right. about something else. 
So if you have right. a question, uh, go hey, ahead and, drop it, and once we have a minute, we will put it up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, they're uh, Rory's back. Her, ah, her Rory's signal back. froze for quite some time. Okay, back now. Rory, Your signal froze. Rory, real quick, where are you at? Where, where I'm at the subway station. They have us right here. Sitting downtown at a railway station, one toke over the line. And she's doing she's she's cleared for medical marijuana. One toke over the line. <laughs> there's not there's not eight people in this room that know what that damn song is. <laughs> One uh, took over the line, sweet Jesus, by who? One took over the line. You remember who sang that? Uh, they were one of the one hit wonders, I think, but it was a huge yeah. hit because I still remember it from the uh, I got it on my song list. Do you really? One, I over really do. One took over the line, took over the line. One took over the line, one took over the line. Yeah, you remember the words yeah. of the 60s I song, actually remember, but you the still words. don't remember my last name. But, but, you know who sang it? Asshole. Brewer, Brewer, and Shipley. <laughs> what is it? Yes. Brewer and Shipley. I wouldn't have got that If you'd have gave me multiple choice, I probably wouldn't have got wow. that. No, Brewer and Shipley. Oh my God. But the only reason why I know that is because on my playlist, it's on my music. Yeah, playlist. Damn. It, it's a great song. You yeah. Think I'd be a big proponent of the one took over the line, sweet Jesus, but, or, or oh Lord. <laughs> I think, I think Lord comes up in the song. I think, I think he gets an honorable mention. I think he does. God's in there somewhere, right? Yeah, he's in there somewhere. Yeah. Brewer and Shipley. If you haven't heard the song "One Toke Over the Line," you got to hear it. It's, it's a yeah. great song. Maya, have you heard the song? No, never. never. Heard it. Yeah, it's on her iPod. Maya will like it's the song. It's, it's on her iPod. iPod. There you yeah, go. All right. It's on her iPod. Somebody wants to know, and Allison Howard wants to know if that's an original from KB and the Moonshine Band. Moonshine. <laughs> 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 Way to go, Allison. Way to go. <laughs> uh, we, 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 one talk over the line, my sweet devil. One talk. Uh, oh my God, Kenny. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, no. right. Well, I had to rewrite it on the fly. Maya, <laughs> Maya wrote a beautiful song the other day, as where she ripped off a Simon and Garfuckle. Garfuckle. <laughs> Did I leave out the end? <laughs> yeah, you Go left the N out. Simon. Get the yeah. N out. When they, broke, when they broke up, they were known as Simon and Go Fuck Me. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, the real wow. whatever his name is is going to get on your shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You said real. the F word. Well, I, well, I real get, David Rush. Well, I get dinged for singing one joke over the line the tonight. Movie. I'm probably gonna get in heat. I'm gonna get heat for that. Copyright heat, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kenny Singh, one talk over the line. Copyright not, strike. Yeah, we can't do this. Yeah, yeah I get, get the, your channel's get, getting taken down. I only now. get three, and, and I was just repeat <laughs> singing the goddamn thing. Wow. Okay, so get moonshine, man. We we got the rights of that song. One strike over the line. One strike <laughs> over the line, sweet Bowen. One strike <laughs> over the line. <laughs> You're making it your own. Singing songs you shouldn't be singing. He's one gonna have me learning this on the guitar in like two hours. I yeah. probably will. Oh, oh, she she will want to yeah, learn. but Kenny's guitar's only got one string. Right? That's the only time he can, that's only he can play. Oh, my songs about Scooby, by the way. Oh hell yeah! We got some Scooby songs coming. He freaks out when we play that one on the Alexa. He doesn't like it really? at all. Yeah. So we have taken to uh we've taken America Garfuckle and and it's no longer looking for America, it's I'll go and look for a better dog. That's what it's called. So you'll see that. Better dog. Uh, we're working on everybody who wants to rule the world, and it's going to be changed to Kenny Mullen wants to rule the world. Yeah, yeah. So, somebody's yeah. microphone is getting a feedback or well, something. I think, wow. getting, I think one took over the line here is getting some feedback. <laughs> oh, that, that'd be you, Rory. He, he's pointing the finger at you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Rory. You're getting hit. Rory. Also, now I'm a. Well, no, no, the the feedback, the feedback. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the free, <laughs> he's blaming you feedback. I, not, not not for just, I saw the freeze frame of Roy. Doesn't she have the prettiest eyes? She has very she big has eyes. Beautiful. It's almost she's close to Billy Zane eyes. Every almost. Time look at Penny, I love it. It's yeah. like you're telling him, she "Shut the hell uh, up." She talks, I, I, I think, she that, look, I think, that, look, I think that look in Rory's does. eyes is back up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Rory, if he compares your eyes to Billy Zane, oh, look you've out. made it. Look out. If he compares your eyes to oh, Billy Zane eyes, you've made it. Look, look who's waking up. 
found out he's been getting buried all night for being like five foot two and 120 pounds. Zach Akaya. Oh, Zach. Zach the liar. Zach the liar. He is Zach the liar. Five foot two, 100. You're burying him. Yeah, he's uh, one of the children that come over last night to look at KennyBowen.com. He's, he, he's one of the baby wow. boys that wanted to come over really? and, and look at KennyBowen.com <laughs> yeah. with yeah. Kenny Bowen sitting here. Yeah, he takes me out to dinner. I'm glad he's in here, little prick. I'm glad he's in here. Comes over now, here. Now, is that figuratively or? Well, take it however you want it, Rico. <laughs> he's been, he's been, I'm just trying to oh, clarify for our on. audience, Come on. especially the new members. King, I want to come over. I want to take you out to dinner. I mean, so finally, he's in town. He calls me up, or he doesn't call me. He texts me because I blocked him on my phone. He, call, he calls me up and he says, King, I want to take you to dinner, man. I said, he's got any ideas on where we could go? He says, The guy with me is picky. I said, All right. I, well, and so I threw out a few places to him. You know, we got Chewy's, we got, we got Mark's Feed Store, which actually was part of their idea. Kingfish, a couple other places with him. King, you got any of them Golden Corral coupons? I said, well, what the fuck do I want to take you to Golden Corral for? I've been eating there for free for 17 years, and you want to take me to dinner, but you want me to use my Golden Corral coupon? No, no, we're not going to no goddamn Golden Corral. No offense, Golden Corral. Uh, good people. <laughs> good people at all yeah, the stores. Yeah, so I said, no, man, you're taking me to dinner. I'm not taking you to dinner. I'm giving you my time. You know, you, you mark. Maya said that. Maya called him a mark. So, uh, so, so he shows up here, and we finally settle on Mark's feed store. And so, his name is really Brad. And and then the prince gets invited. I met, they must have invited him. I'd never do that. So they invite the prince. So we go over there, and and that prince says basically he just wants water. So they think they're off the hook. Well, Chris gets there, and all of a sudden he decides he wants a big old bowl of onion straws, and then he decides he wants the chicken dinner. So. The the budget's going up a little bit on poor Zachia Zachaliah Creek. In Chris's defense, Zach, I want you to know this. When Chris told me he was going to go to dinner with Kenny, I said, "Are you going to pay? Are you getting a discount or something?" And he goes, "No, nah, I'm going to make my dad pay." That was the plan wow. from the very oh, end. I, I knew. That. I don't know what happened at Mark's Feed Store, but when he left my side, I was that never is my told responsibility. That. I told him, "Make your dad pay," and he said, "Oh yeah, Kenny's paying." Make your dad pay, you bitch. I told him, oh, wow. we have dinner waiting for him at home. I'm like, you're eating at home tonight. He's like, nah, I'm going to go out to eat. I'm like, nah, bitch, you're not spending my money. He goes, I'm going to make my dad pay. The bitch word is just flying rampantly around here. You're no get kidding. Your phone, you bitch. <laughs> I'm talking to one of your girlfriends. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. He's on KennyBowling.com. Oh, I'm on KennyBowling.com. I got four more Asians. I got this. Rory, you hang up with Rico right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right where was i oh so zach so you're a you're a golden corral yeah zach did discover kennybowling.com that much is true zach Alaya tells the truth there that he did discover kennybowling.com so um so the the, the bill comes so so the bill comes the bill you know his 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 picky eater who sucked down a big fudge ice cream in a record time of like 3.2 seconds that it would take any human being an hour to eat. Uh, that son of a bitch is gone. I, I saw his, I saw his big giant fudge ice cream come. I looked to my right to see what the weather looks like. I look back and it's fucking gone. Did you just say come? Did you just say, I saw this big ice cream come? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was said. it was very sexual. Ice cream. I did not realize they changed the menu at Mark's. It, it was store. very, was it was very yeah. sexual. They really like Zach. They, <laughs> they, they, they named it after Rory. Uh, it was a very sexual <laughs> ice cream. Damn. So yeah, so the ice cream comes, and I said, "No, wait a minute, I didn't come here for that shit." So the I, ice cream I, came, but Kenny never did. I never did. Yeah, it was right? too cold. It was way yeah, too right. cold. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 <laughs> so I look so, out, so Kenny had a shrinky dink. I look back, and then this ice cream that came. In his mouth, by the way, I might have. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it was. There it is. Never was that. But the ice cream oh. came in Braden's yeah. mouth, and then the ice cream <laughs> yeah. was gone. That happens. That, 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 that you can't make excuses for that. So the ice cream came. The ice cream's gone. It was like three seconds. It was unfucking believable. And then the Sounds bill. Right. And then if you think that's bad, the bill comes. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> coming around here, but me. And I'm like, shit, this ain't right. So the bill comes and uh, and, he, and, he, and he puts his hands right on the bill, which I wouldn't have done. So he puts his hand on the bill. Unless it's Bill Zane. Unless it's Bill Zane. So, yeah, he, so Bill Zane. the bill comes and he looks down and it, the bill's like $53. All right. Well, there's four of us there. Well, it turns out that the ice cream cum sucking guy, uh, he paid his own bill. 
because he didn't want to have to pay for minor Chris's. So now uh, you got Zach Elias sitting there, uh, and he's just freaking out that there's a fifty-seven dollar bill in front of him. Well, he's getting ready to spend some quality time not on KennyBowen.com, but with Kenny Bowen himself. <laughs> They're going to get to come back here, hang out, hear some stories, tell some shit, and everything. And any guy, any any human being, will pay a thousand dollars cash for that and get every penny's worth, in my opinion. So, um, but he's bitching about the bill. I said, well, you shut up, you whiny little bitch. I called him a bitch right there in Mark's feed store. So I reach in my wallet out of the kindness of my heart and I hand him a $10 bill. Shut up, bitch. Pay the goddamn bill. There's the 10 bucks. And then he's still looking at me like I'm crazy. He said, but Chris, you know, I said, well, what about Chris? Well, Chris had chicken, he had onion straws and a Dr. Pepper. I said, like, yeah, there, that, that guy. I said, well, give me the fucking $10. Right? So give me, yeah, I had $20. Fucking dollars. So you think I'm off the hook. I just covered Chris Bill with heart of mine. And I still got to entertain these two fucking dudes. Today. Kenny, Kenny, you didn't bring your secret weapon. Does Rico know how to bring out a bill? Or does Rico know how to bring down a bill? Double the you, you, bill wouldn't have wanted, yeah. you wouldn't have wanted to make out with this manager because I complained about my fish because it was too salty. And then I had Chris put it in his mouth, the fish. He put the fish in his mouth. And, and he spit that fish out. That's something that Maya's never done. And the spit the, uh, oh. the, the spit the spit the I like it salty. spit the yeah, yeah yeah so he spits the fish he said that's the saltiest goddamn shit I read my like, dad ain't working them he said this is really some salty ass fish so this big jacked up motherfucker comes over the back is there a problem with the fish I said no sir <laughs> no I love the fish oh that's wonderful bitch <laughs> that's <laughs> that's wonderful the fish a touch salty but they ain't nothing we can't <laughs> Jack the fucks out there and go, God damn. I said, if he's part of the complaint department, they're never sending any food back. Oh, shit. So he said, he apologized and he said, well, we'll fix the fish. So as they're about to take the fish back, Chris says, hey, are y'all just going to throw that away? I said, if not, my my, my my wife would like that. Well, my wife <laughs> not because Chris normally wants to break it home to choke on. So he does call his wife. So he I does call he was it. going to the dog. Yeah. So, well, maybe that's what he meant. So I, th I thought he meant you. So, uh, but you said that. So you fuck. sat down here last night and ate all of Choco's food. You got to be ashamed of yourself. Choco also, but she, she knew because when I got home, she tricked me into giving her two bowls, two of, bowls food. of kibbles and shits. Yeah, she kibbles did. And shits she is did. What she had. So uh, that should be Scooby's food because what he did last week is terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did some bad things, and you should have saw him last night. <sighs> and Scooby tried to fuck each other for the better part of six hours. <laughs> It was bad. They learned how to 69 right oh, here right. last night. On Kenny, show. Kenny, if they were doing that, they must have found your little blue pill. No, they found <laughs> KennyBowen.com is what they found. They found KennyBowen.com. Right uh, it was they blue. found Kenny's little blue pill bottle. That's what they did. Six hours. Al is trying to take Scooby from behind. And as he's trying, Scooby loops around and he's licking the penis of the of the cow. Oh no, no! <laughs> Only at KennyBowen.com. Oh, Only. Gotta, oh, at sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> if you, if you didn't have to hear that, sorry. <laughs> the fish have not heard that. My vision, my fish are virgins. Knock it off. We, we just, we just, <laughs> oh, we, 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 just no. gained four, we just gained four Look. viewers telling us. Oh at the no! New tier of the Patreon. You got all three of them here. <laughs> The new that. Patreon tier. Yeah, the, the two oh, and also kibbles and shits. Kibbles Brought and to you shits. by Bowling Foods only on go. Patreon. Something else Scooby did. This is the God's fucking honest truth. I am not lying to you. Scooby got underdog off the thing over there. You see underdog over on my counter. The he's red. Got the U. He's not a hurricane fan. That stands for underdog. Uh, Scooby took underdog to bed with him. He's back here humping on underdog. <laughs> you know what I found laying on top of underdog? Uh, a dog turd. <laughs> he fucked underdog wait, and shit on him. Wait, which dog was under which dog? Or is it <laughs> underdog no. <laughs> was on his back when I got to the bedroom. So I As Pete says, "Run, roll, raggy." Underdog used to use a blue pill, <laughs> but he couldn't get to his. Run, roll, raggy. Run, roll. Okay. Yeah, he could not. <laughs> underdog couldn't get to his pill, so he was on his back. And I, my hand to God, I went in there and underdog and what back. And to who? Dog with a dog turd laying on him. No, he hand. said hand to God. What did you he say, Kenny? Hand my hand to what, Kenny? My hand, <laughs> my hand, my hand to the Lord. I'm hand sorry. Lord. Lord. Oh, I, I could have sworn you said God. My hand. I don't know, hand. Rory. My what'd you hear? He did. He did say God. Okay. Yeah. Shut you up, should Lord. hear him when somebody sneezes. He'll go, "God bless you." I went, "Who? What?" 
Right. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, .com, yeah. Only on Kenny's a closet atheist. That's what closet he is. He's a <laughs> yeah. I, need to, I need to come out of the closet, me and Billy. Uh, well, <laughs> God, or, or he shows up. I just need to stay in the closet with Billy. Yeah, one of the two. Sure. Poor Billy. Yeah. Have a uh, you know what we were talking about before we talk about Scooby shitting on underdog. KennyBolin.com. And by Kenny the way, I, I want to tell you all something, okay? Tonight, I was told that I'll be doing <laughs> Cornette's show. No, they, are you? What? They told what? me that. Wait, I'm, what? Yeah, they what? told me that I'm going to do a Cornette show tonight. You sure they didn't I'm going to go gonna, to Castle Cornette. Are you sure you're, they didn't say you're going to be doing Cornette? No, they did not. Because you know what they did say? They said that I'm going to be doing all the work and you two are going to be watching. And I figured that takes uh, me right to the hot tub. Yeah, that's hot tub time. Is that right jimcornette.com? <laughs> jimcornette.com. Where you can watch people yeah. in the hot tub. I guarantee right? you the women at, the women at kennybowen.com look a lot better than the women at jimcornette.com. I'll hot, promise you that. Hot tub time. Is that's a personal crazy. guarantee for me. Oh, so I'm not done with Zach Zachaliah Creek yeah, yet. <laughs> so I know. He just got popped back in. <laughs> So the bill is fifty three dollars. I hand him twenty bucks. He said, "But there's a tip." I said, "Yeah, pay it, bitch." Pay the goddamn tip. So now he's got to pay sixty three dollars. So now he's really hot. So they come back here and they basically try to steal everything in the goddamn house. Well, the, the big one, the the guy that's five six, he grabs uh, my microphone, starts opening the goddamn thing. I said, "Man, that, that belongs to somebody. It's federal mail. It's getting shipped out tomorrow." Put that goddamn microphone down. So then they want, then they want a free book. A twenty a twenty nine ninety five autograph book they won. I said, he's a man I bought your dinner. I said, No, you didn't. I paid for fucking half of it. I said, you didn't buy shit. Plus you ate, you motherfucker. You know, goddamn. You know, so now they want a fucking book and then he wants a spike can. Well, the spike cans are twenty five dollars. There's only two or three of them left. I said, Go over and get the motherfucker a goddamn spike can. So I've given away a thirty dollar book, a twenty five dollar can, a twenty dollar bill. Now they want a fucking eighty dollar set of monster in tunes. I said, Fuck you. You ain't getting no goddamn in tunes, you old bitches. And, oh, well, we did manual labor. Okay. I'm guilty. The second they walked in the door, there's a brand new microwave sitting at my door. I said, hey, Marks, do me a favor. You're here. Pick this home. up. You're going to do some Pick the fucking microwave up. Bring it in here, and I'm going to make it real easy on you. All you got to do is go in there and take it out of the box, plug it in the wall. Well, but first of all, you got to remove the old microwave, put it in the box you took that one out of, Plug the new microwave up. You don't have to set the timer because I know you're not smart enough to do it. I'll handle that, and, uh, which I still haven't done yet. And <laughs> then I need you to take the old microwave up to Maya's house. Maya lives above me. You got to go up those steps in the back, take that up there, hook it up. With Mop the Lord. Up her floor for her, run a vacuum, you know, do, everything, you know, do a little Maya's housework, wash some dishes. God knows she's not. And they didn't. They they rebuked on that. They didn't want to do all that. They said, "Well, we knew we were going to have to do physical labor." I told my friend before we got here that Boland's probably going to make us do some physical labor. I said, "Well, what you bitching about? You got what you asked for. You wanted to do some physical labor." Well, now you so all they did was bitch, whine, and complain. They were still bitching this morning. Well, the worst part of the night's when we had to do all that physical labor for you. Well, that that short one, the five six one that tried to steal a microphone. He didn't. He, did, he only did five percent of the work. Zachariah did ninety percent of the work, at least maybe ninety-five. He paid ninety-five percent of the bill until he started making me pay for twenty. He, well, he didn't make me, but I had to. Or he's going to sit there and cry like a fucking little baby at, at Mark's feed store, right in front of the jacked-up fucking manager and everything. We couldn't have that going on. So, but what a fucking invasion! And they were here for fucking hours. I had to get Maya to throw them out. They just wouldn't leave. I mean, goddamn. A oh, fuck. They I mean, want to behave. They go ahead, Roy. <laughs> they wanted free stuff. <sighs> yeah, they wanted a lot of free stuff. Yeah, Maya. So, yeah, hey, no, sis. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. I don't know what they did. They there. did well. I gave them that. I gave. Hey, them sis. That. They wanted to poop sis, on her. Maya. Yes. I gotta ask you a question. I oh, watched three videos. And I didn't get to see the finish, but who yeah. won between Two Cow, Scooby, <laughs> and you? Maya has begged me not to post that on YouTube. You got an exclusive. You should pay the tier price. Oh, Rico. You should pay 20 bucks. Oh, to my see God. That. Rory got to see it. I I it to Rico. I yeah, I saw it last night. Do you know where I'm from in Germany? Yeah. I'm from Eastern Germany. Do you know yeah. what Eastern Germany is known for in the Olympics? 
Not not winning. Steroids. We started the steroid <laughs> right. epidemic. Now oh. ask you again, which one won? The two idiot dogs or the steroid master master? I don't know. You were trying pretty hard, but I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, I mean, there was a couple false finishes, but I never got the end. So I, I, was, I, won, I, won, I won two. Yeah, oh. and it, it was it was two on one. It was much like uh, Braden and his buddy on uh, on on Braden's. Uh, I'm sorry, Zachariah's mother. By the way, they admitted by, they just admitted it. By the way, look at the comments. I, I see, uh, we did. Uh, oh, that's very true. By the way, <laughs> Zach's mother wrote me while he was here. He didn't even know that Zach's mom knew me. Didn't know that she had written me on Facebook. And he said, "Oh, that, that's my mother. She follows you." I said, yeah, "She follows me, all right." <laughs> so uh, Maya thought I was ribbing him. She didn't think so. I showed him. She said, "That's Zach's mom." I said, "Look what she said." And she said, "My boy Zach's a good boy." <laughs> Damn. Hey, wow. Zach. Wow. Hey, to Zach. which Kenny responded, mm -hmm. "Please get your child out of my house. He's making sexual advances towards my dog." Yeah, he begged me not to send that one, so I did. And then he followed it up. With a duck face picture. I, he kissed the camera for his mom. I did. I did. And, and I did it for Braden too, because he was a nice girl. Braden was a very nice little lady, and I thought he deserved a kiss from the king. I really did. As Braden back in here, wow. again, you're not telling them the old microwave was a safety hat. Well, yeah. Yeah, though there was a safety hat. I just well, I wasn't gonna touch it. I mean, they're young kids. <laughs> That's they're the reason kids. why you had them touch it. Yeah, yeah. Because sure. there was a safety hazard. COVID. I mean, those two kids get the COVID, they'll probably pull through. I'm 60 years old. I can't risk that shit. I shouldn't go ahead and man here. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, he's I said it, we I heard said the dogs barking. We he's said no man. contact, and I think he knocked on the door. He contacted me. He contacted the door. All right, all right. Now we gotta wipe the door down with a lasso. Damn. Shit. What do you do? All right. Well, we've gone we've gone deep big time overtime tonight. Uh, uh, Rory, man. any parting words you'd like to say? And you want to thank me or tell me how good I look or <laughs> anything before you go? That's <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> she uh, got nothing to say. Well, at, least, at least I got to, at least I got to thank she you. Got I got got to thank you anyway. That was something. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rory, for Kenny uh, for letting me. Talk. Well, I'm fine. Okay. Rory, Rory, I, face face. Rory, I'd also like to say you look slightly above average, my darling. Slightly above average. And I'd like to say it's a pleasure meeting you, Rory. Keep, keep fighting the good fight and, and stay hey, strong. I could have said, said slightly true. below average and I didn't go there. No, you look, uh, yeah. you look beautiful. You're wasting your time on Maya, but you look beautiful. Uh, maybe hit me up on Instagram afterwards. I'll tell you the truth. Would you laugh? <laughs> I hate women. Uh, Especially uh, well, you got you got about 13 of them to hate. So you're going right to like Kenny right now. So go to Kenny Bowen. You want a woman not to hate? Go to Kenny Bowen .com. There's plenty of women there not, not to hate. Rory, nice to Rory, prayers, prayers and thoughts to you. Good luck. Uh, stay healthy and stick with it. Never give up, sweetheart. Never give up. I love and, and, and you're a testament of how strong somebody can be. So I'm glad you came on Kenny's show to give yeah, people who don't have hope. Show. I didn't even know it. <laughs> well, to give people hope who have or are struggling yeah. through this. And I think, Roy, I think when Rico says don't give up, I think he means don't give up on Kenny Bowen. He, he's going to almost. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I, ha I haven't given up on him over 20 years. You haven't look, given up. I've made him the man he is today. That's very true. Oh, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want that heat on anybody. What? <laughs> to take credit for making me the man I am. Uh, the, the, you, uh, you, uh, I should you, uh, thank uh, you guys because this is the first time in a while that I have got to smile during my. Shut up, Roy. <laughs> she just did. She froze. And yeah. she's frozen. Yeah, that, I have that effect on she women. Effect they just, just kind of lock up. and uh, uh, Not a lot like that. You don't want them frozen you. like that. <laughs> you froze, my uh, You froze, Roy. I said, shut up, Roy. <laughs> and you froze with your mouth open. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, now she really got mad. Rebooting, she's rebooting, and there yeah, she is. There she is. <laughs> I rebooted Rory. Rory, when you went off the air, you got. Hey, Rory, how did that? You feel? need to check the replay. <laughs> but, but, but sweetheart, thank you for thank you for coming on here. Thank you for. 
You go ahead, Rigo. Inform, and thank you for informing everybody because yeah. I wasn't as knowledgeable on Crohn's <laughs> as I am now. And I'm going to do my own research to find out Perfect. if something can, if I, if I can contribute something to it. But my hats off to you, and my prayers and thoughts yeah, are with you. There is a Crohn's and colitis, I think, um, foundation in the states. I don't know if there's like a branch. If there's like a branch in Vegas, I think there is. So, you know, you could just check that out in your research. And I think I there's one. For uh, don't freeze no more. Come on. No, shut, no. Shut, shut up, Roy. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do my part and research it. You've given me a lot of great information, and I hope you've given everybody out who's in the room a lot of good information, and maybe they can reach out to somebody who is suffering, yeah, because I the same disease, and and help them. Yeah, because I know that one of the guys back that's sitting back there, his niece. So, mm -hmm. like, it not only helps yeah. me, it helps many other his niece because his niece is supposed to be living a normal life like everybody like any normal child you know yeah so yeah jjr wood's the person you're speaking of there yeah jj okay. jjr wood do you MJ actually go by jj though he does now he does you're now. not a junior are you no what is the second j for Nobody. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's for the people in West Virginia. They go J -j 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 John. J -j 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 well, John. There's, there's James That's two J's. I didn't want a James uh, R. Wood because we already have James Cornett bringing enough shame to the world. So I just renamed him <laughs> JJ. <laughs> you named him after oh, your husband, who's in jail no. for child molestation. Oh, all right. So you got. Story. So you got me. So you got me. <laughs> Child molestation, it's a contagious disease that <laughs> yeah. runs in the family. <laughs> Only if you're Timmy John. <laughs> no, Timmy John went to jail for something to do with sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason why he caught those all sheep right, is they were caught right. in the fence. I narrowed, I narrowed it down. It was something to do with farm animals. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's what the sheep Whoa. said. Whoa, Timmy John. Whoa, Whoa Nelly. Yeah, no, they would. They went. You're pretty bad. Uh, well, that, that's that's not bad, Rico. But but Maya, Maya, do your sheep impersonation before we go off the air tonight. Oh my God! Spot on. That's spot. That on. is spot on. J Jimmy's probably coming right now. Timmy John. Timmy John approaches. Yeah. Timmy John just yeah. came. Yeah. Yeah. Timmy John just came. Do that you again. Ought, you ought to do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> You ought to see Scooby when she does that. He oh, my God. Great. He wants to know where the goddamn sheep is. He wants to play with him. It's that Timmy John's trailer with the chickens. Yes. Rory, real quick, honey, where you go? when you were here a few months ago, did she make that noise for you? I think so. I'm not sure. That's the Normal, normally in the heat of passion, I'll hear her making that noise. So She's just, my little lamb. Wow. Oh, you're her little lamb. Oh, oh that's, that's the sweetest, sweet. sweetest wow. thing I've heard in a week so or two. Sweet. My baby girl, so it's all good. My baby. <laughs> Well, for the record, I don't know how to do that noise, so you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the and, 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 and for the record, I'll learn and, how to do that noise. He did learn. <laughs> I hear Rory taught you. I hear Rory taught you during this show. Uh, oh. This has got to be the dirtiest bowling alley ever. The least That's viewed okay. and absolutely the dirtiest bowling alley. Ever. I don't think so. We'll we'll top it. You we'll know, top it. Probably next week. Rico, you're very optimistic. That's what I love about you. The absolute yeah. most. You yeah. see something. Well, well you know what? That's, that's what Scooby. Yeah, that's what Scooby said when he fucked Underdog. I'll top that, and then he shit on him. <laughs> uh, Scooby's a two-time and dirty dog. Two-time and dirty. He's that. He's that. All right. That's right. Uh, oh, you don't like this end? I'll give you that end. Well, and he first, gave it to him. Folks, uh, we got pizza at the door. Uh, uh, JJ, go get the goddamn pizza. Um, it's you already got it? We're what, it. What, well, go get it again. So, <laughs> oh, so, can, can he can he come twice? That, uh, uh, that's, a, that's, that's a male issue. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I, I stole that from Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny was telling some little kangaroo, he said, they, they had a he had a little motorboat going. He said, "Batten down the hatches." He says, "I did batten them down, Uncle Bugs." He said, "Well, batten them down again." 
So, <laughs> and the room goes mild. And the room went empty. <laughs> so, all right, no false finish tonight. No false finish tonight, guys. We got no. pizza to eat. It's been a long show. No post show tonight. Uh, we, we've done enough. And, we're almost uh, two hours. We've those, done almost two for hours. For those of you that paid you five dollars, you got it here tonight instead of having to go there to see it. So. Yeah. And, uh, and for, for everybody that bitched about the, the Patreon room, uh, refunds are not existent. So, <laughs> all right, yeah. so I do the honors. Hit the show. The show's over. Uh, no false finish over. tonight. We're going to end this shit. And there we go. Like and, right. and Chris, uh, no oh, problems and, finding and, ammo, Chris. Sorry. So next time you little bitches want to go to KennyBowen.com, I did say KennyBowen.com. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for it. Okay, I'm waiting. Right, I'm show's waiting. Over. Show's over. Uh, Arwood, do me a favor. If you would, let's get on this big screen, the 75 inch. Bring up KennyBowen.com. We're all going to masturbate. There we go. There we go. Okay, go get Scooby. Somebody get Scooby. Get to I'll get underdog. Uh, yeah, get underdog. Bring him over. I'm going to. I'm going to. Did you sterilize? Does, is underdog wearing a mask? I'm sitting on underdog's face. That's what I'm going to do. Is it is underdog wearing a mask? <laughs> Underdog's gonna no no he's not wearing he's gonna have a brown face when I'm done with him. It's not just massive dildos, it's monster dildos. Oh my god. Yes, that is dragon hilarious. It. Dragon it. Yeah, I did not know what it was. I just saw dragon. My we're still, still, still oh, fucking oh, oh, sorry. Jesus, <laughs> god